is the Glass Cannon Network. I can't, I can't talk, I gotta do this dumb greeting. For these stupid fans. Enjoy your on. Hey, everybody, welcome to Gen Con Day 3. They didn't hear that, did they? We're here live at booth 174 on the exhibition floor of Gen Con, and I cannot believe that it's already day three. Day one flew by, day two flew by, and before you know it, I'm gonna be on a plane home to New York uh, and, and feeling just, just sad and terrible, but right now, I couldn't feel better. And this is Josephina McAdam. By the way. <laughs> She's trying to lean out of the camera shot, but it's not working. I see everything. Um, we are uh, we are so primed for another exciting day today. Uh, yesterday was one for the record books. If you caught that Modern Call of Cthulhu show at the con, I will stand by. That's one of the best things we ever did. And then three hundred plus people last night at the uh, Athenaeum. For that uh, Call of Cthulhu 1920 show, I mean, it was just a wonderful day. Everything that happened in the booth, from uh, Dragon Bane to the Sydney and Kate Twitch takeover, uh, Sirenscape presents Escape from New York. But today, we're kicking things off with more chaos, because they're our best buddies. We're going to be playing a little Pendragon in just a moment. And then after that, uh, our good friends at Demiplane have sponsored a stream of the Alien RPG because they offer uh, character creation software, uh, their Nexus for Alien. And Joe has run all of our Alien games thus far, but Jared Logan will be taking us on an original Alien adventure. And then, you know what? How about more Chaosium? We're doing <laughs> some, some more. Can you tell which, uh, what my favorite game in the world is? Because we're going to be playing... <laughs> More Call of Cthulhu <laughs> in a game that we're calling Modern Call of Cthulhu Bachelor Party. What? Uh, what? Four friends go to a log cabin for God a bachelor party it. weekend. What could go wrong? Uh, and then after that, I thought, oh, that's it. My schedule says empty. Nope. Five o'clock here uh, across the street at the West End, we're doing Blades in the Dark, the Busted Mufflers. Wait, Josephine's going to be there. Wait, it's a five? It's a five it's a o'clock. five today. Are you busy? Isn't it a four? It's a five. Does that mess up your whole day? No. Nora, what's your <laughs> five no, o'clock look like? I'm funny at a real My time. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, it's fine. You might see Josephine McAdam <laughs> <laughs> at Blades in the Dark, the Busted Mufflers. There are over 350 tickets sold for that show right now. There's only 50 tickets left. 400 seater. It is not being streamed as far as I know, so the only way to see it is to see it live. I haven't played Blades since last Gen Con. I cannot wait. At but you know 5 what? 5 p.m. That's enough for me. It's time to kick it over to our new best friend, a guy who probably very shortly will be running his own series on the Glass Cannon Network. You know him. Whoa. You love him. Brian Holland! Yay. Brian Holland! I'm, just, uh, I'm on the phone to my agent. I didn't know about this. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. Uh, oh, and on that, um, so I'm aware we got a two-hour stream. We got a two-hour time. That's, that's correct. Uh, however, Jared Logan told me last night that he's cool if we go over because apparently he still doesn't know how to play Alien. And he's, <laughs> he's taking time to, to read that. I don't think he was watching <laughs> material. I think he's serious. So we got time. We got time. Uh, thanks for having me. Guys, uh, it's exciting. our pleasure. I was thinking about it on the way in this morning, and I was like, you know what this is? This is Brian Holland Day on the Glass Cannon <laughs> Network. <laughs> uh, right now, streaming on the channel uh, Monday nights is our RuneQuest game that we yes. did. Uh, it's two Fs are in. The third F airs right after Gen Con ends on Monday mm -hmm. night. And nice. you're running all that. And uh, I don't know if you know this. But people are loving you, Brian Holland. Oh, There's I, a lot of, lot of good uh, publicity like, out so there. So I'm not sure if you folks know this, but... Um, Y'all are like really popular. <laughs> like you should run ads. Like you could make, you could really make something. Either. No, I, work at, I don't. I don't actually work the booth. I take a lot of meetings there and I hang out. But um, you know, so I, I occasionally do sell to people. I like selling stuff because I just like talking talking about nerdy shit. Uh, and uh, no, there's been quite a few people who have been like, yeah, we watched you on the glass can. And I'm like, oh, that's, that's weird. That's you know? awesome. Yeah, cool. <laughs> uh, that's awesome. But that, that's, that's fine. But you know, we did this uh, like, I'm not sure. I don't think I know if it was a year ago today, but it was a year ago. We, we did this all together. Well, I mean, 
you two were there. I don't think you two were there. I don't know who, who was what? there. What the, the demo an here in the booth? Excuse in the demo in the booth, we, we played RuneQuest in the booth. Josephine was there. was there. No, it's because you had that duck Brian, mask on. You had the duck mask on. We have been friends for so long now, <laughs> and you forgot I was there. No, I, I remember this now because you yes, had the clear it was weird very, mask on. Very the memorable. Weird mask. <laughs> you did. Remember the weird mask? You had like the duck, and then you had duck, and you weren't playing a duck, even though it was RuneQuest. Yeah, it was you three and Matthew. We did demos. It was right? Paula. Hey. It was Paula, Paula Joe, and yes. I, and Matthew. And she yes. was very quiet. And anyway. At one point, we played a family. We, we did That's three right. different did games three, three in two hours. Games. Yes. Yeah, Good yeah God. we did uh, <laughs> Seventh Sea, uh, <laughs> Rune Quest, and, and Rune. Call of Cthulhu. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah, and... Um, yeah, can, can I digress? This is a sponsored segment. I can do whatever I want, right? Yeah, exactly. I'll sit here and we write the super hey, if I want to. You're in charge. Yeah, yeah. We got some beers so, there. So, just a fun, a fun anecdote about our last last stream. So, it's like it is like midnight, four a.m. Last year it was at four a.m. Right, and I just started dating this girl, and she'd gone out. We'd gone out on a couple of dates, and she texted me like right before I came in. It was even though it was like four a.m. And she's like, "Oh, I'm, I'm I'm woke up early to watch your stream," and I thought she's taking this very seriously. Nice. And she's watching it again this year from the house that we now share together. Aww. So I just want to say that we're all so hi, hi, Rachel. I love you. Wow. Right, so. Oh, that's so sweet. So much better than being like, and then she broke up with me. <laughs> <laughs> Take it so out. So I'm available. I'm putting <laughs> it. No, 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 no. She no. saw me stream and was like, I, I can't do this. <laughs> <laughs> Take it out of context. That's a weird right. statement. Yeah. I woke up early to watch you stream. <laughs> No, no, she can do that. If I did that, you'd be calling the police, but no, that's okay. All right, but no, we're here to play Pendragon, or Pendragon, depending on who you ask. My boss no. is out the glass door. He would say Pendragon. Pendragon. I'm going to say Pendragon because I'm Australian, <laughs> and the dragons are cool. Absolutely. And I like pens because I do a lot of writing. Now, um, I don't think we've all played Pendragon yet. Ne I've talked never to you have. about no. it. Okay, that's exciting. You, now. you forgot that I've played Pendragon? Oh, my God. <laughs> Brian! <laughs> It's do I even exist? Yeah, like, yeah, you've played Pendragon. Yeah. So you can, For do you wanna, Chaosium. Wanna, do you want to switch seats? And you can run this? Oh and you can God, forget no, me? Go, That's go, okay. All right, go. No. Well, I mean, I've, if you all look under your seats, you've got a, a gift that, that is going to just has a Wait, what? I don't know. Brian is going to Oprah us this morning. Yeah, I know. What? <laughs> oh, my God. Ah. Why is mine warm? <laughs> Can I tear this open like a child on Christmas morning? Yeah, you know, please Amazing. open open your copies. This is the Amazing. Pendragon starter set, which is, uh, I mean, I'm not sure if anyone who's at Gen Con is watching this, but it is available at Gen Con uh, at Chaosium Booth 509 please. or from your favorite local game store or from Chaosium.com right now. And if you just want to check it out immediately, you obviously get the PDFs free when you buy it from Chaosium.com or if you want to check out the PDF first, see if you like it, you'll get a coupon that you can then exchange for that price of the coupon off the box when you buy the physical box but yeah everyone crack it open there's lots of stuff in oh here and God. we're going to play we're probably going to play a game <laughs> once, once that would be great stuff so well, let's please see what happens go through it there's there's uh there's well there's, there's all kinds of things there's what well, there's an explainer of uh, yeah. what is in the box oh look at this with that look guy. At this guy yeah he's pretty cool look at this handsome devil there's actually a rune quest out on the other side i think that's pretty cool too. Look oh, at that yeah, Louis Mutziard of Persona. Oh, you got dice? She's you really need cool. dice that it comes with? Yeah, you got dice. Um, there are, there are, dice! Dun, 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 dun. A column of D6s and a single D20. Oh, it's ominous, oh that's interesting. It? it looks yeah. like a sword. It's a bunch of D6s. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do, is this how we play? We just yeah, add each other? Like that. Exactly. How about you? Ah. Just vibe it out. Um, and then I think the first book is, uh, is, is if you've got a Chaosium starter set at home, you'll know that we do uh, solo adventures, and the first book is the the adventure of the sword in the stone, which got some adorable little kids playing knights on the front. And now this is a, like a choose are you your... running that? No, no. This, okay, is, this is the that solo is the thing. one I played. Oh no, no, no! No, you wouldn't have. Did you play by yourself? Because that was the thing I'm talking about. Is the solo? Oh, oh my God! Choose your own like, adventure. No, scenario. no, I didn't play myself. This is like a straight up choose your own adventure. Yeah, yeah. So it's like Alone cool. Against the Flames oh, that's, that, that's in the Call of Cthulhu starter set, and it teaches you to play as you play. So oh, as soon as you get this, you can open that's up true. and you can just start playing by yourself, <clears throat> and it'll teach you all the core rules uh, as you as you play the game. And then there's awesome. a uh, very cool. This another book with the uh, the Fabled Realm, which is some setting information. Uh, and basic rules. And then there's a book. Oh, what it's is a, the it's setting? a campaign. Se oh, what is the setting? Yeah. Does anyone know what King Arthur is? What? What King? The concept. King Arthur, you know, yes. the, the mythical, I know the Sword in the Stone yeah. Disney, Disney film. Movie, yeah, yeah yes. which was based on um, a, a book <laughs> called Once, and, uh, Future Once and Future King, King by T.H. Yeah. Uh, White. Uh, but you know, Pendragon draws from, you know, all these old romantics. So Mallory and uh, some other people who wrote 
and uh, King Arthur stuff. Anyway, it's like Mythic Britain. It is it is okay. uh, Adventures of Knights in King Arthur's Britain. And, oh. and King Arthur is doing stuff, but it's kind of like if there's like there's some magic, there's some fairies. Uh, ultimately, though, Pendragon is a game about knights. Everybody plays a knight. That sounds boring, doesn't it? We're all the same thing? No, because the game, <laughs> the core conceit of the game is what kind of knight will you become? Mm. And I don't mean just like will you use an axe or a bow or whatever. That you do get to choose that stuff. What Pendragon is about is about legacy. It's about family. And it's about glory. And in Pendragon, <laughs> you, your first character... You'll, you'll, we're going to go over it in a second, but you have a whole series of, of personality traits that change and ebb and flow as you role play your character. And as you play in a campaign, you, uh, the, the years actually pass by. Your character may meet somebody, may get married, may have children, and eventually by the, by the sword or by old age, you will die. And then you start to play as your child. And oh, the come campaign on. continues. <laughs> and you play it generationally. Oh, that's oh, yeah. it's like Crusader Kings. It's, it's exactly what I was going to say. If you've played uh, Crusader Kings by our good friends of Paradox, uh, it's a very similar sort of vibe. Oh, but, but, cool. but but also some, <laughs> sometimes there are trolls. <laughs> so it's, it's really better. cool. It's really cool. The all of the traits that you go by, like it really helps you role play because it yeah. tells you basically what you're more whether you're humble or proud or. You know, Horny. vicious, cruel. Like cruel is yeah. on there. Like you have levels in between. Okay. I, I, I do. Yeah, I do now so recall great. the game you played, the Chaosium, because you played with uh, a, an extraordinary GM who uh, I couldn't even hold a candle to. A man named Mark Morrison, who uh, is, is a prolific Call of Cthulhu writer. He wrote the campaign Horror on the Orient Express. Oh no! Oh, shit. And awesome. uh, Pendragon is actually his favorite game, and he ran a camp the same campaign, so the same generations of family. He ran that for in real life. 17 years. Oh, no way. Yes. Uh, yeah. So, like, the, the game's got legs, is what I'm trying to say. I'm anyway. actually pretty nervous because well, we have, be. we have a lot particular. on our plate, and I think I just only want to play this game. Because <laughs> like, well, this is so in my wheelhouse. Like, in our longest campaign, one of my favorite characters was just a knight, and, I, and it was yeah. all oh. about that. You know, uh, your, your, your sigil, your banner, your family, you're passing down the generations. I just, I, I, I eat that crap I don't want to upset you, but you can, uh, there's actually, in, in, in the full game, there's a, there's a section on your blank character sheet to design your own, like, family crest. Oh, I know. This is so cool. up my alley. All right, oh so let's, let's get, get into <laughs> oh, it. What's, the, what's the time? We got time? We got time. All right. I, I want to play this There are a day. bunch of characters. Oh, my I'm God. I'm going to take Josephine's so file because there's one character that I don't want you to play for uh, specific uh reasons can we rename them uh you can rename them good dude I one like of the first things names. that i see appendix a tournaments 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 tournaments, so tournaments. Wait, these knights can get married they're not like game of thrones knights where they the, yeah no yeah they're, they're not well yeah um like look they don't Dragon just have is a side game pieces. but like um <laughs> like like sorry i'm just sitting here looking at things uh i could have sworn there was one that i wanted to keep 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 aside I just want to tell everybody. Look, oh yeah. So please uh, choose a character, not the same as anyone else, and don't choose Sir Cadwallon, because okay. I'm going to use Sir Cadwallon, okay. and I'm going to give these back to Josephine. Uh, yeah. So I mean, obviously, uh, if you like your medieval history, you can do uh, a lot with with Pendragon. There's a lot to explore there. However, uh, like most games where everything is made up. You don't have to subscribe to any history or any anything in particular. You can draw on it, but you don't need to worry about. It. So that, that comes back to me saying, "Can some of these knights get married?" There's going to be somebody probably in the comments of this YouTube video explain to me about like the schism of the Catholic Church and when you can and couldn't have done that kind of thing and whatnot. But yeah, look, yes, your characters can get married regardless of their religion and uh, regardless of whatever vows they take. But yeah, they're not quite uh, Game of Thrones knights. Uh, so, I mean... Um, <coughs> Should how, I how play my same character? I mean, if you, you want to. Is that Dame Lin Linnell? Lin Can you do an Irish Linnell? accent without offending my father? No, but oh, right. I'll do it. <laughs> I, I'm still willing. <laughs> I don't yes, know your father. Cool. You should start, well, because everyone else is still looking through them. So I think if you choose Dame Linnell, sure. you can talk about what you'd like to talk about with Dame Linnell, and you can show off her uh, her character sheet. Sure, um, yeah. And then we're going to go through some, Dame some basic Dame Linnell is pretty cool because, well, actually, this uh, offends, like, my ancestors, so it's great. Um, 
she's Irish and she hates the Picts. <laughs> Which are the... They the, killed her family. The oh, okay. Yeah. Which is your people. Yeah, my people. Oh, your people killed my people. Yeah. Okay, all right. Well, in this... In this... Oh, in this in, fictional... In this fictional... Possibly historic yes. situation. Yeah. She... Uh, her family was killed and she's actually not an official dame. Okay. But has snuck in. She's wearing her father's armor and parades as a knight. Like a well, mystery knight. A mystery knight. Oh. Everyone thinks she's a knight. Well, and cool. uh, okay. she's pretty cool. She's cool, cool, very cool. good with so, the sword. So while... Because everybody's still exploring their character sheets, what we might do here... Yeah. Let's just talk you about. So I want to know what you're famous for. So if you're yeah. famous for a trait, it means it's uh, at 16 or higher. 16. I'm going to explain the basics of how traits work. But all you need to know right now is if you've got a trait of 16 or higher, because this is still a chaosian game, it's still a roll low system. Yeah. 16 is quite good because if you want to um, succeed on your roll, you'll need to roll a 16 or less on a d20. Yes. Not the uh, not d100. So what's she famous, famous for? Famous for being vengeful. Oh, that's pretty cool. A woman after my own heart. Yeah. Love it. And then the bold ones are kind of like what you... Uh, they're, they're the ones that are your religious uh, traits, I believe. They're the ones that go with your religion, the bold ones. Or were you told differently? I don't I, know. I think, well, aren't they kind of just sort of like your character traits, the things that you like sort of play by often? Oh, sure, yeah. Sort yeah. of Any like high ones? Yeah. temperate, modest, yeah. merciful. Mm-hmm. Uh, is it chast? Chaste. 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 Chased. 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 Yeah. That means... You it means don't like to you don't chase them running away. Around, running around the school. Yep, yeah, that's what yeah. it means. That, that's exactly what it means. No, I know okay. what it means. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. <laughs> I was just asking how it's pronounced. I know what it <laughs> means. Josephine is not familiar yeah. with the concept <laughs> of being chased. Yeah. English right, 101. I think, I, think Josephine I, I think I got my dude. You're playing Sir of Rain? <laughs> all right, so, all right. Who is, who is Sir of Rain now that you've... Uh, Sir of Rain is a... What is it? Sim, Simric? S- uh, I believe they're all uh, soft seas, I think. Simric, yeah. Simric, uh, pagan <laughs> from the homeland of es- es- Can I see Escavalon. Es- yeah, that sounds fine. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he's got broad shoulders, kind eyes, a smooth complexion, and his family characteristic is seductive. Oh, Ooh. that's pretty cool. Is it, wait, oh, is he the yes. guy who's after the yes. lady from the White Tower? Yes. Maybe. Okay, all right. That's all I need to know. <laughs> I remember him. He's great. Okay, cool. All right, uh, Joe or Troy, have either of you narrowed it down? Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I've narrowed it down Joe. to Sir Ast- Asterius. Oh. Sir Asterius. He looks like a very traveled young man. Dude, <laughs> this guy is badass. He's 21, very young. Uh, oh, yeah. He was born in Syria, in Aleppo. Uh, but his culture is Greek. Interesting. Uh, he's a Christian. His distinctive... Oh, dear. His distinctive features are charming accent. Great. Gonna have to work on that. Yeah. Dark <laughs> eyes, clean shaven, and his family characteristic is he's well-bred. Oh. oh okay. Well-bred. Uh, I like my men well-bred. <laughs> 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 that's some... That's some... Uh that's some royal family shit right there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying, so I was trying to think, how can I say this? I'm just going to say it. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, all right. And I, I have picked the, the one that looks the stupidest. Uh, <laughs> he does. He's like, This is Sarah Everlock. He is a member of the City Watch. Or, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you can zoom in on that guy. I don't know. He's serving funny. the elite unit of the city militia. <laughs> Pick this night if the idea of playing a wise cracking too smart for their own good night appeals to you. My lord is the captain of the Carleon Watch. <laughs> I'm going to be a great knight someday and have many wives. Did you know there's, did you, did you know that there's more than one English accent? No. <laughs> no I did, this messed me up. Because oh, I just started doing a English accent and then I'm like there's all these different... And they're all just like, it's like one suburb over and they different, speak completely yeah, English differently. English accent. You can like, yeah. Yeah. what? Walk down two blocks and it's And I'm like, why are you, do you not go over there? Like, no, fuck that. I'm not going over there. <laughs> no, they speak funny. Yeah, or however they talk. I don't know. They speak funny. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> funny. Oh, oh. Anyway, it's fine. Now I'm going to play mine like Zap Brannigan from Future <laughs> <laughs> With the full line, like, Heartland American accent? Yes. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Get my spear, Kiff. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So that's every. We've chosen our characters. Yeah. Now, very quickly. Uh, get your D20 ready. Are you, are you all familiar with the 20-sided dice? I know that a D100 I have seen is, it before. is, uh, is five D20. times better than a D20. I've never held one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it feels strange in the palm. How mm-hmm. many sides is this thing? Hey, you know, they're, they're really... Um, a D20, I'm not sure if you know this, it's really swingy. 
Like yeah. sometimes you roll like a two, and other times you roll not a two. That's, anyway, that's wild. You get, yeah, you get <laughs> Joe, it's okay if you roll low in this one. Yes, yes. you want to. We want to roll low. So you if everyone just low. quickly look at now. This, these are the uh, the character sheets you get in Pendragon. They have the full page of art. They've got your initial like stats on either side, and then you open it up. Like sort of like the characters in the RuneQuest data set. So those of you who check that out, it's like and a it's got menu. Your whole, yeah, it's like a little menu, and it's got everything you need to know. Um, now, if you've played Chaosium games before, you know that you're rolling low. The only difference in this game is rather than a D100, you're using a D20. That's why the numbers are so low. So, for instance, I'm looking at uh, the Sir Cadwallon, and Sir Cadwallon has a literacy of zero. You can't roll under a zero on a D20, so that's always going to fail. He has an or eight of seven, so if I roll a seven or less, I uh, I succeed. Now, I'm sorry. Did you say his literacy is zero? Yes. Oh dear. So can, well, <laughs> you know, not everyone can read, man. Don't be judgmental. Yeah, but only, even among knights, I didn't. I didn't know. I mean, mine's I only three. Yeah, three yeah. over here. Interesting. Yeah, I didn't realize that. Yeah, no, that's that's the thing. Now, uh, quick question: Do I have any war gamers on the panel? Any anyone who's played a war game before? Anyone has I, anyone heard of the game Infinity by Corvus Belly? Wonderful little cyberpunk skirmish game. No, I saw you get very excited about it the other night. I did. Well, yes, because our friend Paula Deming's husband, uh, turns out he plays Infinity, we talked about it. But if anyone's watching and you've played Infinity, the folks from Corvus Belly love Pendragon. They love Pendragon (laughs) so much, they took the core mechanic from Pendragon and made it the core mechanic in their Infinity game. That's not me being upset. I love it because this (laughs) mechanic uh, was was designed by the late Greg Greg Stafford, who was the creator of Glorantha from RuneQuest, the founder of Chaosium, (laughs) and he considers... You said something in our RuneQuest stream about, like, every game you play, there's, like, a... It leads back. It's called the Stafford Rule. The Stafford Rule. If you think you've designed a rule that's new in, in tabletop, Check, make sure Greg Stafford didn't do it 40 years ago. That is the, that's the thing. But he is on record. He has unfortunately passed away five years this year. It's very sad. Um, but he, uh, he is on record as saying that Pendragon, he believes, is his magnum opus. Oh, God. Really wow. Opus. Whoa. So, um, wow. So, <laughs> Holland, you are quite the salesman. Yeah, well, I'm just letting you know. I'm just letting you know. Now, very quickly, we're gonna, I'm going to teach you most, most of the things how to play as we play. Now, everyone's got your D20. I've told you you have to roll equal to or under your... Uh, your trait to succeed. Is that simple enough? Everyone understand that yes. concept? Yes. Right, you play Call of Cthulhu. Now, the differences are a crit is when you roll exactly the target number. I like that. Oh, okay. cool. Like that. And if that target number changes, if you have a modifier, say if you get plus five or minus five, then the crit changes to whatever that new number is. Okay, oh, that's very now, cool. Okay, and here's where it gets now. This might sound complicated to begin with. But I assure you, once you once you get it's it, awesome. you understand it. This it's the op- opposed roles in this game, just like in the game Infinity. For everybody, I'm assuming there's ten thousand people in the chat. Like, oh, Infinity, <laughs> I love it. It's my favorite thing. Brian, can I play with you? Um, if you are rolling against somebody, say in combat, or you're trying to sneak past them, you both roll a d20. You're both trying to you know roll under your stat. Um, obviously, if you crit, that's that's better. So you know, but say if your opponent's rolling for under a seven and you're rolling for under a ten. Uh, if they roll a seven and you roll like a three, they crit, so they beat you. Now, if nobody crits, which is more likely, it's kind of like, do you have bocce here? Like lawn bowls? Sure. You want to get as close as you can without going over. Yeah. So, okay. the, or the French call it highest. Bull. Yeah, so for instance, if, oh, I, so if I'm rolling, if I've got a 10 and you've got a seven, you roll a six and I roll a one, you beat me. Because yes. your number is yeah. higher. Yeah. Does that, that make is, sense? That makes I, I've sense. seen that mechanic in another yeah. game. Well, I was like, this is so cool, they invented this. Yeah, what game was that? <laughs> well, no, no free ads, no free ads. Yeah, I no told free you, ads. you guys can monetize this probably, I'm saying. You can keep, keep, keep at it. All right, that makes sense. Yep. Next thing is, uh, best, thing about, best thing about Pendragon, yes. the traits system, which is all these personality traits. They are all <laughs> on a binary. Now, this will be somewhat familiar to you because you played RuneQuest. Now, remember RuneQuest, you've got the, um, the, the, the form runes that are like, you know, once one goes up, the other goes down. Yeah. That's exactly how these work. So you've got modest, proud, merciful, cruel, just, arbitrary. These are all different sides of the same coin. And the higher the number your character has in any particular trait indicates that is where your character's personality is. So this, what this makes, it is a very helpful way for you to know how to role play your character. And the thing that happens a lot in Pendragon is sometimes, you know, we've all done this in a role playing game where you're like, you're presented with a situation and you're like, I'm, I'm really not sure what my character would do here. Like, oh, it, there's, say there's a, um, um, 
uh, what, what, what's a good example? You said you're cruel, vengeful, forgiving or vengeful, right? So, yeah. Uh, so Josephine's character vengeful. is forgiving or vengeful. And say there's like a pickpocket on the street who's been caught and the City Watch is like, what should we do with them, Dame Linnell? And say Josephine's not really sure what she should do. She could make a decision roll and actually just roll against mm -hmm. oh, the, I love the track. That. That's really cool. Exactly. Yeah, so like that, that. In, uh, The other thing, if you're sort of, you know, have a low number, like if you're just 10, 10, which is most of them, you, you'll just sort of be, go either or. When you make a role playing decision, for instance, uh, I mean, I'm looking at uh, Sir Cadwellan here, but say Joe uh, was playing Sir Cadwellan, who's energetic 10 and lazy 10, so you can go either way. And if you say like, ah, look, the day after training, I'm going to sleep in a bit longer just because you're role playing. I will actually tell you to tick your lazy and maybe your lazy will go up and your energetic will go down oh. nice. as, as we role play. <laughs> That's now, so cool. Joe looks so happy. I <laughs> love this. We talked about, we talked about what you're famous for, 16. So if your trade is 16 or higher, you're famous for that. I'll look at everyone else. Look, just uh, so Nora, can you tell us what you're famous for? I'm famous for being lustful. Okay. Oh, oh wow. What about Troy? What are you famous for? Where does it say that? It'll be it'll be it'll be anything a trait that's 16 or higher. Oh, I'm famous for being indulgent. Oh well, <laughs> oh, you two will get no. along well. Yeah. Oh, I also, yeah. I'm also uh, famous for being energetic. Okay. Oh, oh wow. No, those two things could never go together. Energetic yeah, and lustful. Energetic and lustful. <laughs> oh, that's good. What can go wrong? Energetic and lazy would be. It way is. funnier set of... Uh, <laughs> it is Zap Brannigan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, Joe. Uh, Sir Astorius Do you have is, anything at 16? Yeah, he is famous for being prudent okay. and valorous. Oh, there oh. you go. That's very cool. Yeah. Now, like in, remember in RuneQuest when I was telling you about when, when sometimes a rune is so high it might change how your character acts outside of your hands? Mm -hmm. That's That actually came from Pendragon. Ah. So, uh, if you have a trait that's high, that's 16 or higher, and you want to do the opposite thing, I'm going to make you roll and you're going to need to fail that roll. Otherwise, your character's going to do the, the, you know, the lusty thing or the energetic thing or the vengeful thing. Okay. Yeah? Okay? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. <laughs> All right. Wait, can, cool. can, we, uh, can I add one yeah, thing that's one also thing. really exciting? You can make your numbers go pretty high yes. if you use your passions I, I to... I was going to explain this, but yeah, were no, you? Yeah, it's I just right. think it's. I you really loved it, it because when it. I was, you use them to basically augment your stats. You know, you call on a passion like I hate picks. So if I'm dealing with picks, I'm fighting one. Like I got my, I think I got mine over twenty. Yes. I got my stat over twenty, so it's like it was always gonna hit, and it was just so cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's like like in RuneQuest, how you can use your passions to augment your rolls. You can do that in uh, Pendragon. Okay. As well. So you basically cool. test your passion, and if you succeed, you get a boost. It's, it's sort of like, and it's similar to um, uh, Rune Quest, you're going to do it like once per session cool. for each passion. So you use it wisely. Now, sometimes, though, passions can be dangerous because failing a passion roll can make you sad. It can even make you go mad. Oh, wow. Okay, so <laughs> don't just be like, oh, I'm going to roll some passions because you don't want to go into a, like, I'm going to roll my devotion to God and then critically fail that and then have your character go into like a existential crisis about or their belief system. do. Yeah. yeah, or, <laughs> or do, do exactly that. Yeah, well, we've only got an hour or whatever's left, all right? Okay, so <laughs> would we like to play a role-playing game? Would yes. you like to play pretend with me? Can I invite you yes. to play pretend? Yes. Yeah, I actually don't know what time it is. I'll just check my phone. It's, qu it's quarter to... Oh, 11. you're good. I'll give you a... All right, you, yeah, you'll <laughs> tell me when to let... Like I said, we're buying Jared time. It's fine. Okay, <laughs> all right. Anything before we begin? Anyone? Uh, I was just had some questions on some of the skills. No. <laughs> Like, like, what's that? Surgery. Surgery. Yeah, it apparently predates surgery. surgery. Etymology with Brian Holland. Tune oh. in every day. Surgery. Um, yeah. Surgery. Yeah. Yeah. surgery. That is literally like your first aid Medicaid. Oh, type sur yeah. Sorry, not first aid. There is a first aid thing. Sur sur surgery. Chig chig <laughs> surgery. What's called surgery? Just admit it's surgery. a typo. Right. It's a <laughs> Just admit I can't it. believe they don't know this. Oh, yeah. would you like to explain surgery. this? Surgery. What? Oh, just know you did it. Surgery, right? Sur surgery. Yeah, it is. It's surgery. <laughs> I always think of it as surgery before uh, and any it sort is. of anesthetic. It is. It is. <laughs> yeah. No, but like it is pronounced surgery. differently. Surgery. It is pronounced yeah. differently. There's oh. a section in, in the yeah. core book that I've read about how surgery. do I pronounce this word? It's like chirurgery or something like that. Chirurgery. chirurgery. Um, is it a French based thing? Based off French. Okay, which Let's is based off Latin. Surgery. Surgery. <laughs> I'm going to say it that way. <laughs> okay. 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 Surgery. Well, just for that, I'm going to make sure Josephine character needs surgery in this. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's fair. In this thing. All I right. love that falconry and flirting are two different skill oh, yeah. sets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're, they're, and they're actually—they're not custom. They're you like think they literally be the everyone same? can do it. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Falconry. falconry. <laughs> I'm a better flirter than I am a. 
Falconer. Yeah. <laughs> me it's too. Amazing. Yeah. It's amazing that there's only 20 skills. And, and one of them is flirting. What's your yeah. best skill? It's important. Wait, I want to know what everyone's best skill is. I'm amazed that falconry is on there. Uh, my it, best skill is intrigue. Ooh. Mm, nice. fo- folklore for me. Mine is oral. Orate. Oh, <laughs> is it? Is this <laughs> or? He's good at both. Orate. Um, I'm a bit of an orator. Mine is courtesy and flirting. Mm-hmm. Oh. Is this interesting content? We could just read the character sheet. No, Let's I mean, go. Let's try it. Okay. Okay. People love this. I don't, well, I don't know. If they do. And I'm gonna, not, I, that wasn't a sarcastic question. I mean, we yeah, can yeah, just yeah, do you're it. You're going to know really where cool. our choices come from. Okay, yeah, <laughs> Look yeah, cool, at how cool. beautiful this sheet is. Yeah. It really tells you everything you need to know. Show him the other side, too. Look at this guy. Sure. Hello. I'm going to keep working on his voice. Yeah. Maybe he'll talk like this. Yeah, or he'll talk like the people from those garage. If he'll do crap, I'll say what he's saying. All right, the, <laughs> uh, 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 the year is 510, albeit just so, as it is the 9th day of January, to be precise. And the cold, grey, leaden winter skies mirror the mood of the land. It's just like modern day England, from what I understand. There have been none to wear the crown of Logres since the death of King Uther 15 years ago. Is everyone. Is everyone up to speed so far? Do I need to repeat anything? Uther? Or Uther, Arthur? Uther Pendragon. Uther Pendragon. He died 15 years ago. Okay. And nobody has been the sole king of England since then. So England oh. has been split into many different sub-kingdoms. Make sense? Yes. 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 Cool. I cool, miss cool. to this day. Hell yeah. The last high king of Britain died 30 years ago. And all of Britain suffers under the depredation of rapacious ambitious barons and opportunistic raiders and all of you knights who may or may not know each other i haven't read your backstories you know you you all can bring something to the table right all of you knights have traveled to the city of londinium which some people may know as modern day london it was still it was around back then it's really old i didn't know this it's really old yeah i've traveled to the city of londinium for a tournament, and this <laughs> and this tournament is said to to decide the next high king of all Whoa. of the world. It's like the Royal Rumble. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's exact. It's like it's like the Hunger Games, but maybe it's not like that at all. Actually, now I'm thinking about it. But the winner gets gets something. Doesn't just get to live. They get to be the king. You know, that's sweet. and uh, that's pretty wild. It's pretty wild accusation. You've all heard about these things, you know. So, I mean, what? What are you looking at me for? What did I do? <laughs> you didn't do anything. I've played this with her. I'm going to change characters. Oh no, no, Last it's going to be different. It's going to be different for you, just for you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Just kidding. Yeah, She's yeah. around. Mark She's went around. really off script. You can go watch that somewhere else. Okay. Um, Sir, Sir, is that Sir Avalok down the end? Sir Avalok. Sir Avalok. Yeah. Sir how, what's 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 your day to day looking like? How are you feeling about this Lond- Londinium tournament situation? All I can think is that maybe one day I'll be king, Everlock. Yeah, I like the sound of that. <laughs> I woke up early, uh, took a poop in the woods, <laughs> rubbed myself with a leaf to clean up, and I'm ready to be king. <laughs> I make jokes all the time. That's what it says I do. It says your rebellion takes the form of a constant barrage of jokes and wry observations. Yeah, I mean, jokes? It really? just sounds it like you described that? your morning. Jokes. <laughs> Calibrated to skewer what you view as the stuffy traditions of court. I say fie on these stuffy traditions. When I'm king, I'll let people make jokes, just not at my expense. I don't like that. And Sir of Rain, have you traveled far? To come to Londinium? You might have. I don't um, know. maybe. Just, just roll with it. Oh well, how are you feeling about this this tournament? Oh, I, I'm I'm currently on a uh, while on a visit to Londinium. So in this very town, I fell in love with the most beautiful. No, it says it right here. I'm not making this up. <laughs> the most radiant beauty I've ever beheld, Lady Morkellis of the White Tower. On the spot, I silently vowed I would accomplish great deeds in her name. <laughs> Amazing. And now I've. Gone to return to uh, show my valor in the name of my lady love. That's pretty cool. <laughs> you feeling good about that? I'm feeling really good. <laughs> yeah. All right. And what's who you got down there? Is it Sir 
Sir, Sir uh, Asterius. Sir Asterius. Sir Asterius. Yes. What, what's your What's your thought on this Sir supposed Asterius. tournament? Um, I'll have to work on some Ooh. sort of accent. A charming one, I'm not sure, but he Ooh. is from not England. Uh, modern day Constantinople. Yes. Uh, he worked his way up to squired in the great city and then was knighted only a short time ago. He was sent by the emperor to Britannia to report on the goings on there. So he is um, sort of uh, like a spy, almost. Uh, but as he arrives and sees this dismal, war-torn land, he's Knights that shit in the woods, who wipe themselves with leaves like <laughs> barbarians. He is beginning to think this is more of a punishment than some sort of uh, assignment that could increase his station. However, this tournament is very interesting. Could he really return with a kingship? Could he hold the lands of Britannia for his emperor? Interesting. Is he done? I could go do, doing this all day. <laughs> I, it was, you nailed it. Charming. <laughs> oh, very, ever. very lovely. <laughs> nailed it. And he uh, takes himself very seriously. He's the exact opposite of Troy's <laughs> character. Yeah. No outsider but the king. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I am going to play this game long after this session. <laughs> I guarantee you that. Well, then I can leave. This is my job's done, right? If everyone's cool. <laughs> all right. Did I, and did you, did you, you can switch characters if you want. Did you switch characters? You told me not you to. Demand you demanded that she not okay. You, you said no. I did. I did. Well, I didn't want you to stress out. We'll switch. You could be Sir Avalon. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but you just go back to describing shitting in the woods. No. Uh, uh, Dame Linnell. I'm Dame Linnell, and I'm here just to kill Picts. What's a Pict? A Pict is a long ago Scotsman. <laughs> is that what a Pict is? Yeah. yeah. I yeah. didn't know that. Wow. P- P- you hate it. pigs. I, I just thought it was a typo. Them. I thought it was nope. pigs. <laughs> like you just don't like there pigs. There's so many <laughs> typos on this. Surgery, <laughs> pigs, surgery. I think it's you. Have you ever seen, pigs. you know, sort of like ancient, where the, all the blue paint and symbols, oh, like yeah. sort of painted all over the body, not much clothing. Braveheart. Never saw yeah. it. Mel Gibson. This is way before that. Yeah, long yeah. before. Okay. This is the year 510. I'm casting my Five guy as zero. a young Mel Gibson. Is it, okay. this, is, <laughs> this is almost a thousand years before Braveheart. Wow, this I never saw back. Braveheart. I know nothing about it. So. Okay, you said blue paint. And I Let's just see what he looks like. Avatar? Like a- Avatar? No. no. Blue no. paint. No. is far and away the largest <laughs> settlement in all of Britain and the most remarkable pit of filth and inequity that you've ever seen. Even. Sir Avalok, who lives here. So you might not have been shitting in the woods. You might have been shitting like in the street. I no, know. I like to feel like I'm close to the land. Oh, that's good. The land that I will one day rule over. Uh, it, it is the it is it is cost, it's, it's claustrophobic lanes and streets swim with garbage. Yeah. And offal. What does that mean? Offal. That's like that's like the the guts and giblets of animals. Yeah. Well, that's just swimming. You're really good. I, yeah, you can eat them. How'd you do on your uh, SAT for English? <laughs> <laughs> I bet you did really well. Pretty damn well, actually. Yeah. And the burghers and the guildsmen of the city seem to have little respect for any of you or for your station. What cads is what we'd call those people that yeah. don't have respect for you. Those bloody cads. Barbarians. Exactly. But fortunately for you, uh, you're all encamped inside the city walls to prepare for this tournament. Including Sir Avalok, I believe. He's very special. No, he's, he's, he's getting his dice out. He's getting yes. ready. Yeah, he's, he's, every, everybody's there. Uh, now, before you arrive at the encampment, because you're all sort of traveling here except for Sir Avalok, I'm going to get you all to roll some, uh, just to see see how London treats you. Sorry. See how Londinium treats mm. you in your first uh, your first encounter. Um, Sir of Rain, could you please roll a d20 for me and tell me what you get? All right. Three. Oh, that's good. You get lost in the stinking alleys and Great. waste your entire first day in the city. <laughs> oh, it's a random event <laughs> table. It is. Okay. No, just, just, just to give everyone a bit of a vibe of what's going on. Lost in the uh, Sir Asterius. Sir Asterius. Very serious, Sir Asterius. 14. 14. Uh, a rough and tumble gaggle of men playing some sort of rugged ball game <laughs> dashes past 
and nearly tramples you. <laughs> Please roll uh, roll against your movement rate. Oh, I hope they stampede you to death before you start playing. <laughs> I died in your character to roll, roll under. Yeah, I yeah. died in my prologue? Yeah. <laughs> you walked into the middle oh my god, of, flashbacks of to game. RuneQuest. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. Your movement rate. Movement your, rate. Uh, I, have I no believe idea it, is. it is under your characteristics in the top. And there's a little box, uh, movement, armor points, current glory, yes. healing rate. <laughs> What's your movement? <laughs> Good luck, Holland. Okay. 15 on the die for a success. Ooh. Under 18. Oh, okay, nice. well, you're very good. So, Wait, well, this guy can move. I'm assuming it's because you're on your horse. Yes. Maybe, that's probably why. Luckily, yeah, you didn't maybe. take 1d6 points of damage. Uh, Dame Linnell, what happened to you? We're going to re-roll the same things, obviously. You've rolled the same Right, right. Oh, we've already had... Yeah, what you get? I got a 15. 15. That is different. Uh, you eat some bad street food. Probably some of that offo that was on the Gross. on the floor. On the f is it the floor if you're outside? You, <laughs> it's I, on the ground. I don't know if in that description it was food. <laughs> <laughs> well, but I mean, where is it coming from? They're not just slaughtering cows for no reason. Maybe they were. They're offering like fried plague rats street on a stick. Food. Uh, yes. Get your yes. plague rats. Can you please roll a d3 for me? Oh, God. Already. Okay. D3. No, I see. Let's just roll it. Is that a three? Two. Two. Yeah, it's a four. So it's yeah. a two. You get minus two to your con. What? Wow. Yeah, what? you're sick. Off the bit. Oh, what's well, you know my con's like a nineteen to start, so that's okay. Well, so it plummets to seventeen. Okay. Brutal. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so Avalok, I mean, you're from here, but let's see what happens. Um. Uh, well, this is just a regular day. For regular Sir Avalok. day. Let's see what life happens. Life Sir Avalok. Uh, got a four. Uh, your best horse gets sick. Charger! Oh. And you get now. There's lots of different types of horse. Charger, the charger <laughs> is is not the name of the horse. Oh. It's the type, type of horse. <laughs> Rouncy! <Yeah. laughs> I'm just reading words that are gets, say, did gets, you say The horse gets sick Rouncy. and you can't ride the horse for a week. No. Oh. He's yeah. really sick. Oh, so you're going to have to start the tourney with not your best horse. <laughs> Those are types of horses, too. Well, that's, all right, so. Uh, <laughs> peaches! No, oh, Peaches, I always loved you. And he takes his sword and cuts Peaches' throat. What? Jesus! Oh, oh, oh my god! I can't afford to keep a sick horse alive. I'll just find a new one. Sorry, Peaches. Uh, I'm trying to play a lot of can, can you, uh, this past few days. What is, uh, what is, oh, Sir Avalok, Sir Avalok, what is your merciful trait? Uh, merciful, he is uh, got a 13 in Merciful. Does that go down? No, 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 no. No, that was, well, I think that's an act of mercy. That's you true. Know, do you want to, yeah, so I oh. think you, I'm just going to ask you to go ahead and tick your Merciful trait, because that might go up, because you just, that's an act of mercy. You, can, you knew you couldn't afford to keep this sick horse alive. It's true. So you opted to do the merciful thing and <laughs> okay. kill it. I didn't, I mean, it didn't say the horse was going to die, but <laughs> I'm I mean, sorry, so I can't read, so. I'm okay. sorry. What's your literacy? A good horse, you always laughed at my jokes. <laughs> you didn't want to perform surgery on it? <laughs> <laughs> Someone, you can do that now. We can really showcase all the different mechanics. Now, I'm going to slash my horse's throat, and now I'm going to do surgery on it. <laughs> Look at that peach. It's lying there like a dirty pit. And this is where all the... <laughs> And this is where all the Ophel comes from, because yeah. people are just killing their horses yeah, yeah, yeah. at the first sight. <laughs> Blood splattering. <laughs> Everywhere. Okay. But, all right, so everyone's had a great first he day. He just I, I promise. nearby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is bad news. You know, I, I, I went to the Academy Museum of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences while I was in Los Angeles recently, and they got a Godfather display, and I saw the actual horse's head. Oh. In, from, the, the, from the movie. Really? Have you seen this picture, Joe? He's staring at me like, what are oh, you yeah, talking yeah, about? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't... I saw the picture. Okay, yeah. <laughs> you're saying, you're familiar I saw with the film? scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, just I thought you asked me if I saw the head in person. Like that. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> anyway. oh, I wish I saw that example. Yeah, it's what well, you should go. Anyway, so that's your first day. But at some stage, uh, you'll find yourselves walking along, and there's like a big crowd of people. It's like the line of people that are here to get the Lorcan of Disney card game. There's like a thousand oh people lined up, but rather than buying cards, they are lined up outside of St. Paul's Basilica in Londinium. There's a huge amount of people. Who here... I'm sorry, not personally, your characters. Who here is Christian? Uh, Sir Asterius yeah. is Christian. Who is pagan? I am pagan. And you want to be king. Wait, wait. So, every, so it's, it's just, it's just uh, Sir Avrain is pagan, yeah, everyone Sir else is Averian. Christian? 
I'm yes, Christian, sir. yes. Okay, so I mean, this is very exciting. There's a lot of people. There's way more people here than there are normally. Uh, and it's impossible to tell from here what's going on. What would you like to do? Uh, sir Asterius will, um, yeah, approach. He'll start moving through the throngs. He's got this determined look on his face and uh, is, is disgusted by the people that he's moving past, these peasants that are lining up outside of this church, these unwashed masses. He's just kind of like moving through to get closer up to the front uh, to see what's going on. He's armed with a sword and, a, and a, like a dirk in the, in the other side of his belt. And uh, he's horseless right now, right? Like we're just on the street. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so he's just walking through, but he's armored. And so, and can I just, what is your, what's your modest versus proud? Modest versus proud. Because he's really looking down his nose at these he regular people. Uh, oh, yeah. He's a 13 modest, 7 proud. Okay, so, so you, I guess you, maybe you know, not. You, no, if you want to be proud, go, just go ahead and roll against your proud. Let's see. All you right. Go. Yeah, roll because the proud. thing is, it's, it says in the summary that, uh, you know, he, this dismal war-torn land and he hates being here. You know? Yeah, so, that's fair enough. All right, yeah, yeah. so let's see. Let's, uh, see if, let's see if your travels to London make I, you change yeah, who you are. Yeah, I got a 6. So okay, so you passed under. that. So I'm going to get, so yeah, you, you, your description of looking down nose at everybody, that happens. And I'll okay. get you to tick your proud and maybe those traits will alternate as you can. Maybe your trip to London changes you fundamentally as a person. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I think like the golden courts of Constantinople had him humbled. But okay. now here he's like, I am so much better than these people. All right. So you pushing your way to the front, there's a line of people trying to hold people back. These are members of the city watch. And one of them is Sir Avalok, trying to hold these 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 worshippers at bay. Yes. Because behind you, out the front of the basilica, looks like an art installation that you sometimes see in the street. There's a big rock and there's a sword coming out of it. No one knows where it's come from, but everyone's like trying to get a selfie with it. But, <laughs> but the equivalent of that back then is like go up and kiss it and like bow. And everyone's trying to get there at once. And all you've been told is to not let everyone come up at once. Like, just let, let, let people slowly come in and revel in it. And Sir Asterius comes face to face with Sir Avalok, who has been told <laughs> to keep people at bay. <laughs> sir, Sir Knight, sir, what is going on here beyond the, the line? Oh, well, uh, this is uh, St. Paul's Basilica. You know about St. Paul? He was a real uh, piece of shit. And then God knocked him off his horse on the road to Damascus. And all of a sudden he's a saint. So you too. You could live a real horrible life and one day do something good and you could be a saint. He was Saul when he was not the horse. Ah. He became Paul later. A fellow Christian? Yes, indeed. What goes on beyond the line? Oh, there's an art exhibit here. Uh, not much of a fan myself, but uh, one person at a time. I'm sure even an outsider like you would enjoy taking in the site. I appreciate your hospitality. Your accent? Where is that from? I come from Constantinople. Istanbul. <laughs> Constantinople. <laughs> I think it's Istanbul. <laughs> we can't get sued. Ah, <clears throat> an unwashed Turk. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna oh get me cancelled, man. Uh, what is. <laughs> He's a jokester! <laughs> He's a jokester. real rabble rouser. It's like, ah, I'm kidding, get over here. Uh, sorry, what is gun. beyond? I, I don't understand. There is. Is it the literally sword a sword in the, in the zone? Is, is, right that the, is, a okay. is like just in, in the ground. And, and do I know what like, this is? Like, is this no, a, no, but it looks like it's erupted from the ground, but hold that thought. Sorry, the, so this just happened. No, no, no. It's, you, it's here. That's why everyone's crowded around being like, look at it. It looks like this rock has erupted out of the ground in front. St. Paul's, and in the stone is a sword. The sword? Where does it come from? How long? How long has it been? Hold, hold that thought, because while this conversation was happening, or Dame Linnell and Sir of Rain, how are you reacting to the size of this crowd coming through it? Um, Sir of Rain walks, like, sees all this commotion and is just like, what's going on here? And why is everybody's attention taken away from me? <laughs> Dame, then, yeah, Dame Linnell just sort of pushes through, although I think she's like, Sir of Rain, is that you? Uh, 
and, and, and Sir Evrain is like, did we have like a night together that I don't remember? <laughs> like she's going back, hey, hey Linnell. Lady Linnell, Lady <laughs> Linnell, yes. <laughs> right, you haven't changed a bit. Uh, see, you have not changed a bit at all. Uh, <laughs> tell oh. me, what's all the hubbub here? <laughs> Why is, uh, and, uh, in your experience, are the Londinium ladies, like, an, a Londinium 10? Is it like an LA7? <laughs> what's the, what's the exchange rate on the... You know, I haven't made, uh, a tour myself of the ladies of Londinium just quite yet. I've only just arrived. Well, I've just arrived as well. But... Through lots of... Shit, start, shit alleys. There's a lot Apparently. of shite everywhere. But, you know, we could help each other out. As we uh, do the crowd. Are we just going to clothesline through yes, our yes, way to the yes, front? Yes, yes. Kill I, them all. I think I can tell. I feel like there's a sword somewhere around us. I'm itching to get my hands on it. So you're pushing your way also to the edge of the crowd where the city watch is trying to keep people at bay. Yeah, we'll one push through. Right. One yeah, one push push very closely through. there. Just elbows. I will ask you all now at this stage, just as just as uh, Sir Asterius was asking about the sword, I'll ask you all to make a recognized role as you as you behold okay. the sword in the stone. Ten over eight. So you nope. failed. <laughs> Nine over five. You also failed. Sixteen over eight failed. Also failed. One under eight. Hell nice. Yeah. You recognize this sword. The, the hilt, the pommel, the non-blade portion. As the sword of Uther Pendrag, the last high king of all of Britain. What's the deal with the sword? <laughs> I'm not 100% sure. I was just told not to let people get near it. I was just asking that very question. It is a pleasure to meet you. I am Sir Asterius of Constantinople. Good to meet you, good sirs. I am Sir Ray. It is my honor to meet you. Of Simric. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you made that name up. <laughs> Dame Linnell, if none of your business, that there is the late king with her pendragon sword just sitting, waiting to be taken. Was the king not buried with his sword? I suppose not. I don't know the customs of this land. But was the sword here before, or is it just now? Come here. You're from it was here. Not he, this this was not here yesterday. I'm just I, letting this forever lock you're, 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 you're from here. I, I, I saw you shitting in the street. I, you saw that. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what I stepped in? <laughs> I do apologize. Uh, I didn't even know what this was. You know, they don't tell us anything. We just, uh, uh, oh, the Pendragon sword. <laughs> and, that, and, that, and, that, and that, as soon as you say that, because I assume Dame Linnell was being quite demure yeah. about it. But Sir Avalok, I think, was probably, blah, blah, blah. Oh, and, the then, sword. and then and people start whispering, oh, the Pendragon sword, bloody hell, blah, blah, blah. And it grows like a wildfire through there. Can everyone please make an awareness roll? Let me know how you go. Oh, 20 oh, over no. 10. Oh, that's bad. That's real bad. It's really bad. Well, good thing oh, I wasn't a passion yeah. roll. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so right passion on a 20 it, is bad. Oh, yeah, that's the fumble. That's, that's what you... A what two you, under eight. Okay. Uh, 11 over eight. Okay. 18 over dice. eight. Okay, well, everyone, you can say you fail. You have to say how... You, you can describe how <laughs> Sorry, spectacularly... Sorry, we, really we have gotten into this rhythm because of uh, Call of Cthulhu, oh, but yeah. it is oh, like... That's, that's cool. I do think that it helps for the audience to understand... Oh, yeah, sure, sure, sure. ...like what our skill levels are like. It's like yeah. eight, five. These are pretty low, these yeah, yeah. skills mm. for the most yeah, part. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Well, I mean, it also showcases how badly you're failing, too, yeah. which is cool. <laughs> also yeah. that. Also I just that. want to highlight that. Put a spotlight so, on So, Dame Linnell, yeah. you succeed. And you see uh, on the edge of like the, the where, the, where the, the city watch is holding people back, like the sort of semicircle around where the sword in the stone has erupted from the earth, this weird old man seems to have snuck past them. And he's wearing ragged clothes and he looks like a street beggar and his fingers are all you know when you get old and you get like extra digits in your fingers you know <laughs> no <He's> extra like, <laughs> knuckles <laughs> extra knuckles and his eyes are all over the place and he's walking up to oh, the hi. he's walking up Sir. to the stone Sir. and he looks like he's gonna <laughs> he looks like he's gonna touch it and Sir. it takes you notice him first did you see this so please don't oh, right. <laughs> so oh, right. you, you, you <laughs> notice this first but what i'm gonna tell dame linnell first is that you, uh, 
you recognize this man as as the the somewhat well known druid Merlin. Oh, oh come on. <laughs> As soon as you were like, yeah. and there's magic in it, I was like, Merlin. And, and he's walking up to the. And, 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 and so, do, do you have any strong feelings, opinions about Merlin as a druid? Are you Christian or pagan? I'm Christian, but yeah. I don't know anything about him. All right, but now, now, I'm just. It's important that you remember that you noticed him first. Remind okay. me of that later in oh, case I yes. forget. Okay. Yeah, I'll remember. Now everyone you. else, now, yeah, then, there's other people that recognize Merlin because Merlin is pretty well known. Now, I'm going to ask you all uh, to make a, uh, a trusting or suspicious yeah. roll. But this is at minus five, plus five. So that means that you're going to have to be minus five to your trusting and plus five to your suspicious. Yeah. But roll against each. Huh. I have let a, I'm me 10, know. 10. I'm right down. Okay, okay, so that means you're five, five fifteen. Okay, five, fifteen. So roll against, roll against them both. Let me know if you succeed one instead of the other. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. I'm just wondering which one would go down and which one. Wait, would go are up. you both ten? Yeah. Trusting, ten. Trusting's so the, going to five. It's, it's minus five plus five. Oh, okay. In slash minus five slash plus five slash. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna be a little more. Tr- oh. Seeing as how I I failed my awareness, I'll probably lean more towards trusting. Sure. Because sure. I don't know what's going yeah, on. Yeah. Uh, definitely suspicious. You're suspicious. Suspicious. Uh, do, was I supposed to take off from here or from uh, you here? T- you change the, the trait. You change that, yeah. So this would be a 15? That would be a 5. Uh, You've got to have a 5. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I failed that miserably. Okay, cool. Now roll against your suspicious to see if, rather than being just not trusting, you okay. might actively be suspicious, which is 15. I am very suspicious. Okay. Yeah, same. Everyone's same. suspicious? Yep. If you're yeah. suspicious... Hey, uh, m- Mr. Merlin, sir. You, oh, let me just tell you, though. If you are <laughs> suspicious, you have heard that Merlin is the literal spawn of the devil and that it was through his evil machinations and schemes that the good King Uther actually met his doom. No wow. one with knuckles like that can be trusted. We cannot let him touch that stone. <laughs> Get, Get that pig the stone. Get that pig and away from and the and royal blade. It. I'm drawing yeah. my blade. Oh my god. Whoa. <laughs> wow. Shining. As will Sir Avalok. Oh my god. Whoa. <laughs> and Sir Evrain just goes, well. <laughs> Stand down, spawn of Satan. <laughs> oh yes, the spawn of Satan. Or so you will so think, but there can be many things that I might yet be. Oh, that hurts my eyes. <laughs> now, look upon my extra knuckles. <laughs> as I caress the sword Ruth Pendragon, the once and future king. You put your hands <laughs> on that sword, it'll be the last thing you ever touch. Ah, yeah, so look, ah, look, the dragon that flies in the sky. Like I shall too fly to you from the sky. This Bye. is a mad man. And he turns. And with the haste of like, I don't know, a gestalt of rats. Like, you know, like all rats working together to make a big, you know, like three, three. Like a three, big super you know, rat king? Like, three, like, a, like, like three toddlers in a trench coat. Oh, yeah. So it just disperses into the crowd at a speed which is unnerving and quite, you know, probably confirming of your suspicions of his devilry. Sorcerer. Heretic. Ignore him. Comes this bo- booming voice of this tall, broad, hairy chested, long bearded, long braided hair guy on a horse, and he's got his own entourage. Ignore that old druid. Who is it? This is King Lot from the north. Famous, ha- aggressive king. And he How says. How far north? Not that far. Alright. Oh, <laughs> If that there is the swords of Uther Pendragon, then short is mine. And he gets off the horse, and he marches triumphantly. He pushes you, particularly, he goes out of it. He, you weren't in his way. He moves to the side to oh, push you, fuck. and he then falls. he moves back, and he walks through. <laughs> and he and he, and he steps Sir up. Darius gives you a hand back. Onto the rock. Aww. And he clamps his hand around the sword, and he says, You shall all worship me. He tries to lift the sword from the stone, but he cannot. Oh, that's shocking. I thought he was going to pull it right out. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Who knows what could happen? Would anyone like He's like, it is impossible. Man. <laughs> Tis but an art installation. Impossible for you, maybe. Oh, so you think you could draw the sword from the stone? I've drawn many swords <laughs> from many stones. <laughs> <He> <laughs> if you know what I mean. Then step up, sir. <laughs> 
<laughs> you may attempt to now. Well, you can ro roll a d20, and if you roll the number I'm thinking of, you will draw the sword from the stone. What? And we'll, we'll all go home what? early. Yeah. Seven. Unfortunately, it was not seven. It'd be very funny. It's a very common number to number to choose. Yeah. Apparently. Yeah. 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 No, if it was, it was not seven though. Yeah. So you put your hand, your hand. I assume your hand around the uh, the sword. You yeah. try to pull it. It's not budging. It's like it's been blacksmithed, blacksmithed, smithed into the stone. It's like one whole thing. Fake sword. It's a fake sword. It's not a real sword. Because clearly, if it was a real sword, I would have drawn it. It's true. Yeah. I I seem to remember that it wasn't always successful on your end. Perhaps I'll have a try. Okay. He's very clueless as to what she's implying because he's like that arrogant. That's great. <laughs> I love that. I want to try. Um, can I use a passion? Oh, you want to become oh. impassioned? Yeah. Want to try to become impassioned? Uh, you may. Which 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 passion would you like I to use? Use the passion of station because right, I don't ha quite have my station. This would really elevate. Sure, sure. So station. you're going to roll. So what is your what is your station, is your station is trait? Is it fifteen? So you need to roll a fifteen or lower. All right. It's a seven. It's a seven. So it's a successful passion roll. So you become uh, inspired, which gives you a plus five bonus to a single skill or trait chosen by you while this situation persists. I'll say the situation being the enigma of the sword in the stone. Would I be able to use, is this, can I use strength for this? Uh, yeah. St uh, well. Surgery? <laughs> I'd like to surgery. surgically remove it. Surgically remove it. Surgically remove it. Surgically. Surgically remove it. Or sword? Sword? Yeah, use your sword. Use, use your sword? sword? Yeah, what's your sword? What's it just hack at it. It, it's up to 20 now. It's 20, exactly. Five. Yeah. yeah cool, no way cool. to get it out. Okay, all right, all right. 11. 11 plus 5. Oh, no, there was, no, sorry. You didn't roll the number I was thinking of. No. No, unfortunately. Well. But you are still very inspired. Because you're like, even just uh, hanging, out, hanging out near the sword, like maybe someone will see you and they'll be like, hey, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I think you it know. looked really cool. That'd be really cool. Well, uh, technically I'm on the clock here, but I uh, guess it's time for the once and future king. Show you how it's done. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, good thing I worked out yesterday. Here we are. And let's give it the old heave-ho. Eight. No. Ah, Sorry, bro. I should have written this down so people would believe I, me. But I could have got, got it, hand. but I, I, I pulled something. Pulled something it hurts a lot. Now people start to line up. To, to try and attempt to pull the sword from the stone. Seems like a really, it's a, it's a great act activation for the Catholic Church, I'll tell you that much. They're having a great time. A lot of people. Great activation. activation. <laughs> <laughs> having, a, having a really good time. And King Lot, he's, he's, can I curse? I forget. I have several okay. times already. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> he's, he's fucking furious <laughs> that everyone's doing this. He's like, and he's, I'm here for the tournament tomorrow, and I'm putting it down, my crown on the line. If anybody thinks they can beat me in the tournament, you will have my crown and the crown to all of England, for that is the crown I deserve. Get away from this petty, stupid, sword stone situation. Come along, fall in line, man. And he trots off with his... Oh, like, does he trot like that? I mean, on a <laughs> horse, you know. They're like corsage horse, you know, with it, yeah. <laughs> Go like that, that's it. Yes, yeah, so they all go along, um, including his little squires who are fumbling along with his uh, his many his many spears. It's a good voice. King Lot sounds hot. Are you, yeah, wow, do you like big he's, hairy guys with big beards and braided hair? Because that's what I described it before I did the voice. No, I, I just think. heard the voice. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. Yeah. The voice. Sir Avalok just stares else. at the horses. Beaches. 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 However, you have a, you have a one night. For the tournament starts tomorrow, and there's an encampment where all the tournament uh, professionals, the tourney attendees, uh, have been allowed to stay inside the walls of the city because it is much safer here than beyond them. Um, and you might have a tent, you might have a little establishment, you might be nearby. What do, uh, what, how do each of you, you know, make well, your way? Like, how do you feel about this whole situation? That's where you've got to go, but you just heard this huge announcement from King Lot, the fabled 
king of the north that he's going to put up his crown. Are you all going to be fighting tomorrow? I shall defeat him for the adoration of Lady Morcatus of the White Tower. <laughs> Highly doubt Lady Morcan- Morcanus? Mor- Morcatus? Morcatus? Mor- I highly doubt the lady's going to pay any attention to you. She's up in her tower. Say well. it. <laughs> what? Say it. You know? Say what? <laughs> Nothing. Oh, I thought. oh we're there? <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was like, wait, did I forget a reference? No, no, no. Um, I've never failed to draw the attention or the love of a lady. I beg to differ. I like when you play hard to get. <laughs> All right. How about you two? Sir Avalok's got a, a big stein. He's like, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna have one tonight. Where did you get that from? We're still in this one. <laughs> there was a uh, bar. There's a, there's a stand over there. There's a stand over there. there. It's yeah. a fair, street fair. Beer. He's got a big stein of meat. He's like, I'm, a, I'm just gonna have one tonight. I want to keep my wits about me. But he's indulgent at 16, so he's. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So if you actually want to wanna only, if you want to not be, there's a very Australian term for this, but I won't say because it's a family show. If you, don't, if you don't want to be dusty tomorrow, <laughs> uh, please please roll and try and fail your indulgence. Fail role. my indulgence. You want to roll higher than Because he knows. Days. He's like, just have one. Yeah, just and have one, like, bro. So there's two in a money. <laughs> two in two a money. Are you guys going to the bathroom? Go yeah, I'll come with you. Yeah. Uh, I, I succeeded a five under six. Okay, no, that, that plan does not does not survive contact with one. the enemy. Oh. <laughs> Although I'm going to have two. Yeah. Uh, honestly, every time I visited the north, didn't much like it. But returning there as a king, I could, I could, I could learn to love it. You'll drink to that. Oh, it's empty. It's early. <laughs> <laughs> one, one more. One more. And what about Sir Asterius? Ast- yes, indeed, I will participate in the events tomorrow, and I am rather eager to put down this King of the North. You're not even from here, right? <laughs> you don't even go. I don't even go here. <laughs> <laughs> and while I will not claim to take the tourney in general, I would very much like to unhorse that man. He was oh, a jerk. Absolutely. You want to make love to him? Excuse me. What did you say? I said I wanted to unhorse him. Ah, I don't know what I heard. <laughs> <laughs> but that would leave a free horse. Ah, yes. And so I will go. I must have my rest. I bid you good evening. You're turning in so early. So early, yes. I need to pray. Good night. I am and he'll go off to, I imagine there's like a local lord or something like that that is like housing him, basically. Oh, okay. Because Ooh. it's like kind of an exchange. You, you, you maybe tell it's me a, how it is, Joe. Maybe it's a relative. Yeah, maybe it's like a cousin <laughs> of uh, a duke in, you know, in Constantinople or something. It's an insufferable cousin. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Love oh. it. Sir Asterius is here. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm going to read to you tonight. <laughs> please. Uh, please. Come please, on in. Join tonight. the beds. Join, a... join, 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 the, join bed. the beds. Sorry, I meant join us. Join us by the beds. <laughs> <laughs> we did, he didn't say we were join wealthy. Join the bed. It is, um, <clears throat> join the bed. It, it would be my honor. <laughs> and he's just like dying inside. But he is, uh, <laughs> yeah, he is uh, honorable. Uh, so, yeah, he will... He will is indulge. He, um, is he uh, uh, is he forgiving or vengeful? Uh, he is right down the middle. Okay, so we'll see how the cousin fares. <laughs> then it could go either way for the cousin. That's all right. And uh, Sir, Sir of Rain, I, ima- I kind of imagine you walking down the streets singing. <laughs> sure. Yeah, I, 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 I don't know. I'm just saying because you like climbing singing my lady love. Singing a song of, uh, like some of all shit, tales you know? of my valor and my victories. <laughs> All kinds. All yes. right. In the, through the encounter. All of my conquests. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'll ask everybody right now to check. Um, there's a, I did say at the top, the top of the show, one of the important things in Pendragon is uh, glory and amassing glory. And part of that is uh, how it feeds into legacy, right? And uh, glory is, uh, is a trait that just generally only goes up. It's sort of like Reputation and RuneQuest or some other games, but the difference is that it's a glory for your whole line. So when you start playing as the next character in line, you'll inherit that glory. So if there was an overall, if you're just purely mechanical, if there's an overall goal in Pendragon, it's to amass as much glory as possible. I'll have to find out from Mark Morrison if at the end of the 17-year campaign he ran, if there was a winner. 
but <laughs> <laughs> it'd be pretty cool and pretty stiff to not win it. So what is your glory, Sir Avalon? Where, where is it? It's uh, uh, 2,190. <laughs> Are they like XP? <laughs> is, it, is it actually 2,000? Yeah. Oh, that's really cool. Wait, current, Wait, current glory. It's under, under characteristics in this front box here. Just here. Oh, oh, oh. oh there, yeah. 2,190. That's a, a nice even 2,190. Yeah. Ooh, <laughs> I have a little, like, asterisk next to mine. So current glory is nine, Steroids. 975, and it says, Note that your starting glory represents your inherited glory from your father and only applies to those who know of your true heritage. To all others, your glory is functionally zero until you begin earning some on your own. Wow. Once your past becomes public knowledge, you may add your inherited glory to your total. That's pretty cool. Do you Skid know who my dad levels. is? Yeah, <laughs> yeah basically. <laughs> uh, what's your glory? My glory is 2,200. Okay. So slightly Ten more glorious. More. Than this jokester over here. <laughs> Mine is uh, 2075. Woo! <clears throat> wow. wow. So I am the most glorious of all. But you say you're only 10 more than Sir Avalon? Only 10. Yeah. More. Maybe you should start sitting shitting in the street. Everyone's <laughs> like, hey, right. there he is. <laughs> you have to be like the people if you have to rule over. <laughs> yeah, I think, he, I think actually in interacting with you, he's a little bit put off by your joking nature. But then in short order after meeting you, he asks his cousin maybe and finds out like who your father is you know and he's like that is his father you know and uh gets a little bit more respect immediately for you maybe he misjudged you because that's how that shit works you yeah. know what i mean in, in their minds it's like who is his father and his parentage cool yeah so so I'm like you're drinking yourself to death. He's on his seventh. Okay. One, just one more. This is one more. At, in, he's in the encampment. He's, he's also it. probably on duty. Peach. Peach. <laughs> <laughs> it uh, was just a cold. Dame Dame <laughs> Linnell. I'll. Are you indulgent I'll, or temperate? I'm I'm very temperate. Okay, yeah. that's cool. So. I think I'm going to keep an eye on Sir of Rain. Sir of Rain. What, you're walking behind him he as he's up singing. Yeah. As, I'm, as I'm just walking through the streets. Yeah, I'll keep, I'll keep an eye Can on. Can you roll your sing for me? The sing is a cool oh, skill. Sure. What is it? Seven. Okay, wow, that's pretty good. But I rolled a 19. Shut the bloody hell up! <laughs> the sun's out. And we're just yelling at the street. I'll just sing louder. Yeah. <laughs> as you're walking along, uh, you both notice something... Two different things that you each notice. You, from an alleyway ahead, you see like the, the shoulder and hem, hemline of a white dress oh. drifting around the corner. And at the same time, you see fucking Merlin. He's, he's, he's like, so like the, if the alleyway is to your left, Merlin's like just to your immediate right, just standing in the street. And the, he's standing there looking like a, you know, fucking crazy guy, you know? And he's got his, 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 his rags. And people are just, because it's busy street, people are just moving yeah. past him, just like, almost like they're not even noticing him, just parting. It's like he's a, it's like he's a stone that this water is flowing against of these people. And he's staring right at, well, you're pretty sure he's yeah. staring right at you. His eyes are all over the place. But you get this, the, full, the full sense that he's staring right at you, just as you notice this white dress. I see that. Him. I was like, oh, an unescorted lady in these streets? I must go be honorable. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Horrible. Okay. <laughs> so you, so you, you want to? So yeah. What, what were you like? You have, so you haven't noticed okay. this yet. He, yeah. he is honest, and he, he is like his honor is his passion. So like he is an honorable guy. He's not a total. <laughs> okay. No, no, he's not. He probably is just like that's but, dangerous. Yeah. yeah. Comes off. I'm, I'm just, yeah. Yeah. Once you get to know him. You know. What would you like to do? I'm gonna push there and say, there he is. And I, I have like a hand on my so on the sword. It's not out, mm -hmm. and I want to push through towards Merlin. Okay, well, you, yeah, he's he's standing right there. The crowd is partying oh, on either like side. He's just staring right, staring right at you. Anything? No, no, he's right okay. there. You haven't noticed Merlin. Yet. You're 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 pursuing this woman. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You, you go around the corner, just as Dame Linnell comes comes to Merlin. You you have the devil in you. I have no devil. And his eyes sort of settle. And they're riddled with cataracts, like they're misty, misty blue. What are you doing here, Druid? I am no devil, but the devil has come to Lindinium this night. Where? Oh, you have seen him. You have. 
It may not be late, but it may yet be early. <laughs> and as you're looking at his eyes, <laughs> which is still still, you swear just for a moment that those cataracts disappear and his eyes become the bluest blue of the most glorious morning you've ever witnessed. And as you blink, Someone runs, pushes right into you. Bloody hell, could you get the hell out of you, It's a thoroughfare. You're standing right in the middle of the thoroughfare. Right in, I'm going to punch him. Okay, you, uh, do, <laughs> you're very high vengeful. Okay. Yeah, it's what I'm famous for. Okay, okay. <laughs> cool. Mailed fist can you, right to the face. Can you roll your... Uh, I'm pretty sure it's just a... Uh, brawling. Brawling, yes. Yeah, what's your brawling value? Ten. Okay, go. <laughs> That's a one. That's good. That's a hit. All right, yeah. what's the damage of your... Uh, oh, uh, Brawling? 2d6 plus something, maybe? Which is an instrument. Brawling? Brawling? Yes. 2d6 plus 4? Wow. <laughs> 13 damage. Okay, so you punch this guy in the face and you break the bridge of his nose and the bone of the bridge of his nose shoots up into his brain and kills him instantly. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> and, and in the middle of, as he was just explaining to you, this thoroughfare. <laughs> so... Everyone just saw that. Hold that thought for one moment. You're in the Oops. alleyway. Uh. And, and it's dark. <laughs> he killed a guy. And you can hear sort of like the, like the, 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 the low hum of the many thousands of people just over the wall. Not unlike where we are right now. But you are in a quiet place. And it's dark. And again, just towards the deeper end of this alley, amongst the offal and the human excrement, you can see the outline of this this white dress. I call okay. out. Uh, I call out to her, my lady. Please allow me to escort you safely to your destination. The dress <laughs> seems to retreat further into the darkness. There is no. <laughs> and then this kind of worries him. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of serious. It's kind of dangerous. <laughs> it's getting a little. Dark. It's a late, little dark. Are you uh, valorous or cowardly? Uh. He's very valorous, so he's he wants to like protect her. What's the, what's this? Just so people at home know, what's uh, the difference? Fifteen to va valorous, uh, cowardly is five. Okay, it's really dark, and she continues to retreat, and now you can barely see the dress. Do you continue to go forward? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. He's, I think, genuinely concerned at this point for her safety. As you continue to walk, the hairs in your arms and neck begin to stand up as you as you pursue. And at this point, you cannot see her dress at all. There is nothing but a wall of dark. This, like, light cannot reach this point you are walking to. And I'm, I'm looking at my character sheet to see if I have, like, oh, any, like, lantern, any nugget, but nope. Um, he continues to call out to her, but I... My lady! Are you walking Hello? into the darkness? I, I slowly, this at this point, because it's, if the hairs on my arm are, uh, yeah. it's creeping me out, but I still push forward. Okay. You hear a voice whisper in your ear. The devil walks in Londinia. I'm pagan, I don't believe in any of that stuff. Okay. <laughs> Negative energy lives in Londinia. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a crystal for that? <laughs> you walk further into the darkness? Yeah, this time uh, draws a sword, ready to, mm -hmm. ready to beef with anybody. To beef. To beef. Uh, think, you yeah. walk through the darkness and you emerge somehow back out into the thoroughfare where Dame Linnell has just killed somebody. Oh God. Everyone's, everybody's freaking out. They're calling for the city <gasps> watch. They're <gasps> calling for, so brief, brief aside. And then Lady Cadwinkle went down into the trees and there were no apples left. Can you believe that, I can, cousin? I cannot believe it. Even, <laughs> even last night when you told the story, I couldn't believe it then. <laughs> you hear a scream from out the, fr out the front. Oh, oh, that's just Londonium for you. Someone's Shoo, probably he's slaughtered like, um, in the street before again. They can even like sing. Okay, so you're out. You're out in the street. Uh, uh, the very half cut. Do you have that expression here? Half cut? Half no. cut? No, we do now. No, it means you're like pretty drunk. Yeah, he's out. <laughs> And somebody rouses him and says, oh, just one more. We're just going to do one more and call it a night. What? What's, what are we doing? Oh, somebody's up. Uh, different voice. Somebody's been uh, 
Somebody's been killed in the street. What? Well, yeah, looks I didn't, like I a didn't, job for the city watch. Yeah, and he cool. falls over the table. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you're you're standing in front of this guy who you've 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 broken. You've killed him. People are freaking out. Like the peasants are there. Uh, you just you know what the hell's going. You're pretty. You've got turned around or something in the dark. Uh, you're standing there with your sword out yeah. as well. Uh, you come emerging from your cousin. What is happening? And he's uh, and, uh, he has grabbed his weapons, but he's not drawn them, and he runs out. This man tussled with me. I I, I just I just punched him. I didn't know he was so weak of constitution. <laughs> Looks down at the body. He attacked you. <laughs> What's your? You're joking? Your yes, he did. You're checking your honesty versus deceitful. I did. What is your deceitful? My deceitful is 14. Uh, step back, step back. He's talking to now, you. Now, like can you both are. please make an opposed intrigue roll? What intrigue. is your intrigue? Let's go over this again. How we, it's a skill. Oh. That's my Ooh, highest skill. Is, oh, what's yours? No, what's your intrigue? Only nine. Okay, what is yours? 13. Now, you're aware of what's going on. You can use a passion if you would like. If you have a suitable passion for lying about murder, you, you do know that your honor would be in question. <laughs> if I use my honor to, to lie, lie about murdering someone right now. Yeah, uh, I, yeah, I, I need to preserve my. Oh, honor. I mean, that's an example. I'm not sure what else I, you've got. Well, hospitality. Hospitality. <laughs> this guy. No. Yeah, hospitality. Welcome to Londinium. <laughs> the same thing happened to me on my first trip to New York City. <laughs> yeah, that's how we do it. It's a sign of love. Right. Right. Uh, no, I will use honor. I'll try to. Let's use on. I'm not going to use a passion on this. Like, and I, I believe no, you, well, you, you, I'm you're, naturally you're not inclined. actively trying to do. Something. It makes sense yeah. that some yeah. peasant I would attack. Uh, you six, just just a more wealthy plus five. Okay. All right. So now, so what is your what is your intrigue? Thirteen. What is your intrigue? Now with the plus five. Yeah. Fourteen. Okay. So please both roll. Okay. And this is this is how you. This will be our first opposed roll. Uh, this wasn't planned. What did you get? Oh Dame no. Linnell? Nineteen. That's a failure. Nineteen. You both <gasps> failed. Yeah. We both rolled 19s. Yeah. Wow. wow Joe. Interesting. Interesting. All right. Uh, so. So. Oh God. What happened? You, well, you both you, you both failed. Uh, so who's got the higher base skill? Oh, yours is higher now, isn't it? Because you got the plus five. Yeah. All right. So that would be a partial success for you. So. Wow. You you believe her, but you might not believe the whole story. Does yeah. that make sense? You, you, yeah. You, you, you're like you're like. Oh, well, he's okay. also. S- Naturally yeah. suspicious. Oh, is he really? Yeah. Okay. How suspicious is he? Thirteen to seven. Okay. Cool. So, yeah. Yeah. So I I don't need to roll it. Right? You don't. You don't have to unless you want to. You can choose to roll it. But the thing is, if you choose to roll it, because to to. I'm gonna choose to roll it because okay. I think it's important to sure sure define in this moment is, if he goes down a so, path of being suspicious of, uh, yeah, Dame Dame Linnell. Linnell. Linnell or down a path of trusting, uh, Dame Linnell. So. Uh, I roll twice, right? Yeah. So, all right. So, for trusting, uh, I succeed with okay. a three under seven. For suspicious, I crit. Oh, uh, well, if you crit, you're, you you definitely crush that. So you are you you quite so you critted su- your suspicion. Yeah. So I oh. do feel like something's off here. So you believe that what was the lie that he attacked you? Yeah. You believe he was attacked, but you know something else was going on. Yeah. All right. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Sorry. Pardon me. So that was all in the millisecond. <laughs> Continue, I, continue your acting. I was just defending <laughs> myself. Of course you were, of course. And he's just like gonna hold people. Stand back, uh, people that are not knights. You know. Oh, hey, there's so much blood. The yeah, the body. Um, this is the way of fighting. S- someone uh, get uh, get the chirurgeon. <laughs> is there a chirurgeon in the house? Out, oh, bring the city watch, please. Bring the city watch. Here he comes. Sir Stand Avalok back, of the city watch. Back. City watch here. Nothing to see. Nothing to see. Oh, my God. A dead body. I think he's gone. I think he's... Wait. Is he for sure dead? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Do you remember what I described? I do remember what you brain? described. Yeah. Now, uh, can, can, no everybody, can everybody okay. uh, please make a... Not, not you just yet. Can everyone please make a recognize roll? Okay. Ooh, oh god, who did I kill? Oh, I bet you he's one of the king's dudes. Who did I kill? Uh, I failed. Okay. I rolled a one. Oh, this Succeed. is perfect. I a three under eight. Okay. Uh, the 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 crest on this gentleman is uh is a yellow and and blue crest. Oh, did I just immediately? <laughs> and you all you two recognize this as as, as Sir Cadwallon. This is, oh my god. This is this guy. He's a 21 year old Christian from Salisbury. Wait, life cut tragically short. He was barrel trusted. He had a rustic accent. His horse's name was Clodhopper. 
So you're saying there's a free horse? <laughs> <laughs> Peaches too? <laughs> Claude Hopper has a new home. Wait, Clodhopper. this is a landed knight here. It's killed in the streets. Was it you, outsider? Points at uh, Sir, whatever the hell you name is. Uh, no, I've just arrived. Apparently, this knight attacked Dame Llewellyn. I keep wanting to call you. Llewellyn. <laughs> <laughs> Llewellyn. Yes, he, he, Wait, I know who that he is. He came at me. I, I was just defending myself. You know me. Ooh. Yeah, but that's and I read everything you say. Yeah, but that's this guy. <laughs> Sir Cadwallader. <laughs> Sir Cadwallader. Salisbury. That's the. Uh, that's the. Wait, 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 where is where is his name? Cadwallen on the front. Sir oh, there we go. That's Sir Cadwallen. Of the White Tower. Of the White Tower. The brother. The brother oh. of <laughs> my lady love. <laughs> well, you know now you won't have to impress him. Hey now. <laughs> One I like a good closer. joke more than anyone, but this man <laughs> lies dead in the streets. He's really dead, too. Do you need me to describe it again? No, Look, I, 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 I just punched him. I just punched him. Just these fists. It's very unknightly. All right, listen, we well, got to get it. We got to get a backstory here. We got to we got to change our story around. <laughs> There's a lot of people around. A ton of people. <laughs> we'll separate the two parties. I'll question the body first. <laughs> Sir, what happened here? <laughs> like an open and shut case. But it wasn't my fault. I think you should come with me. Are you, Sir Avalok, are you just or merciful? Uh, I, my merciful has gone up. It has because gone, of, has because gone. when I killed Peaches, so it's a 14 now instead of 13. Oh, so, so to be clear, what I said, so when that happened, you ticked the box and it's oh. like Call of Cthulhu. I got so you. it might Will go up at the end of the session, so it's still 13. Copy that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 13. Mm -hmm. So I'm merciful. Um, I, this guy is dying. He's dead. He's, He's dead. dead. That's what I... Yeah, yeah I'm, so... I'm, uh, uh, I'm talking about how you're going to be reacting to Dame. Yeah, Lino. I'm also... Uh, I have a high arbitrary. <laughs> and I feel like it... Uh, no, this is too, too much work. Yeah. Yeah. But Dame... <laughs> and y'all, I got a big day tomorrow. I'll be like... <laughs> I got this too All right, well... Clearly, nobody saw what happened. Uh, maybe you should just... What are you talking about? There are people home. everywhere. This will have to be brought in front of... Uh, uh, well, we, we, I, I think we should just turn in. This is a... Competition, anyhow. Yeah, maybe you know, get a, one more drink. People die. I'm sorry that it will not be possible. He this wasn't is a just night. people. You need to. Uh, this needs to be reported uh, to the magistrate. You're going no, to have to uh, no, no, no. explain I'll, I'll your side it's of the story. It's a lot of paperwork. I don't feel like dealing with. You're not from around here, so I don't know how they I'm do it in strongly Istanbul. Strongly resisting. If a knight <laughs> kills another knight in, in Constantinople, the night. it is not brushed aside so easily. You do not. Honor the memory of the dead by brushing it off as if it never well, happened. Well, when you're king here, <laughs> imagine. <laughs> we can bring your crazy Constantinople rules to Londinium. <laughs> but for now, last time I checked, this crest says City Watch. This crest I got for uh, being a good uh, friend. <laughs> anyway, City Watch means no, no, that the, I'm... The, the crest you got for horsemanship. This one is for best ho the horsemanship. <laughs> Peaches. <laughs> Anyways, you, you get out of here. I'm the authority here. City Watch. You go home. You will, will send a card for. Any other questions? We saw her punch him. We saw oh, we saw it. She's going to punch everybody. I'm a, a punch you. You keep talking back to the City Watch. <laughs> no one's punching anyone. Because, uh, was it Dame... Linnell? Dame Linnell. You have murdered the brother of my lady love. And tomorrow I challenge you to the death. Does she even know who you are? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> you want to challenge me to death? No, to, a, to a joust. To a joust. I challenge you to a joust, to to a joust in the tournament. It's on. PvP! Ooh, PvP! <laughs> wow. Okay. Right. I feel let me like, just, sorry, okay, let me just... According to this... Let's throw that out. Yeah. yeah that's I, just, uh, <laughs> I suppose it's time to turn in. Should we? I should still have a proper Christian burial. Should we bring him to the church? I'll send a cart later to pick up his body. Maybe sort of push him to the side. Yeah, just kind of roll him over here. Yeah, roll him into the gutter. That's fine. Uh, you are the worst. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I guess he will defer to the city watch. I mean, they are the ranking knight, you know, mm -hmm. here. So. He'll defer, but he does not like it. He's like, this is a bad situation. Yeah. These people are savages. Clearly. Can I get you another pint? <laughs> uh, 
what time is it? Yeah, I guess we can do one more. One more. We can talk about what happened here off the record. All right, so you, you folks go and do that for the rest of the evening. I'll go What's with you to a Honorable. Are we reporting it? <laughs> Are we? <laughs> no. Whoa! No, let's not. You could, yeah. get, you could get the joust sanctioned by the church. Oh, you're a pagan, so you don't care about yeah. getting sanctioned by the church. But you might. You might. You could suggest that there's going to be a, a, a duel that is going to determine honor. Then, you know, the, the, the church can sanctify that. Uh, uh, if, if the, if, you don't have to. Yeah, no. Or we example. could just joust. Yeah. Just joust. We'll just joust. Yeah. Okay, cool. So what do you do for the rest of the night? Limber up. Yeah, do some push-ups, yeah. <laughs> a little stretching. In my velour yeah, no, undergarments. Yeah, I'm good. Velour. <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 you good on you good you good for limba. He's gonna rest for the tourney tomorrow okay. and uh, pray for the soul of the departed. Yeah, it's a bummer that he reaches gates of St. Peter. Did anyone loot the body? No. <laughs> <laughs> to be to be clear, I don't drink, but I do supply, sir. Avalon, lots of drink. Okay. Well, the next day, the sun is high in the sky and everybody's talking about how good this tournament's going to be. King Lot is offering up his crown. He says that the winner is going to be the new High King of all of England and people have just been rolling with that, apparently. They're just going to accept it. That's super exciting. The art installation at the front of the uh, St. Paul's Basilica is doing super well and uh, everybody has also heard about the new, the new tilt that will be happening. The, the, the tilt of honour. Yeah. For the lady love of the White Tower. Oh. And the honor involved, mm. as, as her brother was uh, apparently um, dishonored, is, is the word that's being used. It's unclear. Right. By the Dame Linnell. Uh, who is. It's, have you told everybody what. Uh, are you still walking around with like your helmet on? Or are you, oh, are you, are no, you tapping yeah, sorry, into Daddy's I have, glory? I, I'm wearing yeah, my father's armor. I've got like the colors. It's yellow and gray banner, and I've got long, straight blonde hair. She doesn't, like, uh, take any time to really, like, make herself look nice. She just sort of rolls in. Mm -hmm. She is as she appears. It's as she appears. And, Sir of Rain, how are you feeling this morning? Prepping your horse. You can see all the people um, seated up to watch the tilt, to watch the joust. Uh, He's very moved by his, uh, both his sense of honor and uh, also for his adoration mm-hmm. of, of this lady that he's trying to woo with his uh, valiant, tales of his valiant conquests. <laughs> and so he, uh, he has vowed to, uh, to, to gain her favor by, by this, dis- by this uh, display of, uh, of chivalry in, in her name. Well, she's in, she's, she's on the crowd. Oh. She's on the she, crowd. She's, she's, she's in the crowd. She's riding that she's crowd. There. She's, wearing, she's, she's, wearing, uh, her, she's wearing a black dress now, obviously. Mm. She normally wears white, but she's wearing a black dress. Does she notice me? Oh, she notices you, and she's holding out her, her favor, which is the thing that they put around your lance to hope that, in the hopes that you will, you know, win with her favor. Do you know what I'm talking about? No, yes. please oh, yeah. explain. It's like a, yeah, it's like a flower tie. ring that they yeah. put around the lance that you oh. get from the ladies. Okay. Yes. You know, so it doesn't she... symbolize anything. So right. She's chosen him to be her champion. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. And I, I do like the most, like, like the biggest display of a bow. On, on your horse? Yes. Okay. Fall right yes. Without <laughs> falling off. Without falling off. You do it. She gives it to you. And, and she says, please, for my love and the love of my family, Unhorse that horrible Irish woman, or something like that. You like, don't gotta make it like, racist, but okay. <laughs> I'm Irish, it's fine. Horse that horrible Irish woman. Just defending myself, Sir Asterius. <laughs> yeah, he, he's uh, intent on his uh, his form mm-hmm. and uh, his training. This morning, he's thinking of the fundamentals. He's mm-hmm. not getting wrapped up in the emotions. So he's not thinking about a crown. He's just thinking about the next joust. He looks right. at the lists. Who is he lists. up against? Well, he's, as you're looking at the lists, right? Because there's a lot of people crowding up to try and see, you know, the the draw, you know. And uh, you're standing there, and there's a couple of guys right in front of you, and they're whispering conspiratorially Ooh. to one another. Ooh, uh, I will, um... They're, they're, like, right in front of... They're, like, they're pretty sure, like... 
they're alone. Like they're pretty still. sure no one can hear them, you know. Yeah, yeah. so I will eavesdrop. You're gonna drop eaves? I'm gonna drop some eaves. <laughs> okay. Um, is that a roll or can I? Just I, don't, I think you're probably close enough. Okay. Depends, you might be able to roll to get a bit more information. One of them says, "Yes, while the big honor jewels go, yeah, we gotta get over there." King Lot told us he's gonna get you know three bags. Do you know how much that is? Oh bloody hell, that's so much, isn't it? Oh yeah, that's so much. We got. I don't care who the list is. Just like while the honor jewels go. Gonna go. And King Lock's gonna Yeah, I know. Three back. It goes on like this for some time. Yeah, I don't understand it. <laughs> what did you say? The, the Oh, was I whispering he, too softly? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> three bags. I'm sorry. Three he bags. Three three bags. He said three King Lot. He said, while the honor jewel's going on. I'll whisper it louder. While the honor jewel's going the on. Honor jewel. While God. the honor jewel's going on. We're supposed to go in and King Lot's gonna give us three bags. Do you know how much three bags is? It's so much gold. What is the honor jewel? Honor jewel. Got it. Yeah. Get three bags. <laughs> what? Well, gold. it said they're going to go and do something for King Lot, and he's going to give them three bags of gold All right. for it. Uh, what's your suspicious versus trusting situation? Uh, I'm very suspicious. Yes. Yeah. And you met King Lot. Yeah, and don't yeah. like him. You don't really like him. really want to unbox no. him. Yeah. So what would you like to do, if anything? Uh, I'll, f I'll follow them. Do I have a pairing? Like, oh, you got a pairing. Yeah, but it's just somebody. No, no, it's Sir Avalog. Hey. I didn't mention that. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's rolling up. And, if he, ju and up. he just smiles. Like, yes. <laughs> that booze bag. This is going to be... But, look at ahead of yourself. Then uh, he is going to follow those guys. They start walking. He's going to start, you know, tracking. What? That they're going during the honor duel, but you can see like they're, they're sort of nearby, they're talking to each other, they've got like an abacus out, and they're talking to one another about all the gold they're gonna, yeah. they're gonna make. But you, you, you two, all right, does it wait? Hold on, does Avalok even is, does he sleep through? Well, he the gets duel? up and he's the, the, the just he comes up and he's got a big thing of coffee. So, oh. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you're on your, you're on your, probably your charger. Is yeah. Your best, what's your charger's name? Charger. No. Uh, <laughs> what's you, my charger? You can think about that. Name. You're on your second best horse, which is there. Yeah, Peaches Two. Okay. All right. Well, you're on Peaches Two. You're on your horse. Yeah. And a joust is best of three. And uh, you, it is polite to uh, do two things in a joust. Remember, this is a sport. You're not trying to kill each other. So it's important to note when you are going to. Uh, Pull, sort of pull your punches, all right? So I'm going to ask you before each tilt if you intend to pull your punches or not, okay? okay. It's always good. It, it is a sport. Yes. It is just sport. Hey, everyone, look at Sir Istanbul. <laughs> I thought they rode pigs down there. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Yes, I, just, you know how to ride horses as well, yeah? When does the joust begin? <laughs> Oh, we're gonna right now. So this is an opposed horsemanship role. Okay. It is best of three to win the <laughs> tilt. It, Let's go! Now, I will note, uh, you will still be rolling damage at each other when you hit each other. But if you pull your punches, you'll be rolling slightly Excuse less me? damage. That was an option? Oh, no, not when you, when you actually punch someone in the face. I mean, this is for the sport. Okay. This is for the sport. Okay. Now... And uh, now, and you can also you can choose to become impassioned, but remember, a critical. If you crit, uh, it's not always so easy to pull your punches. Okay. Okay, that's all I'm gonna say. Uh, so I'm, Sir I'm going and pulling my punches. I, okay. I don't think he, he thinks this is all a game. Okay. And then, until it. something changes to make. Well, do you want to become otherwise. the king of England? I do. Yeah. Okay. Well, do you want to become impassioned about that? Or? No, I think I'm going into this first round like I can take this guy. Okay. What if I told you it was a knockout tournament, like single? Loop? Then yes, I will. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it doesn't matter. I'm just saying, you can do whatever you want. I'll, I'll, you know, I'll use my station, my passion of station. Oh, yeah. Because sure. I look down upon this guy. Oh. I told oh, him off last okay, night. Okay, sure. And I'll do it again. Okay, so, so roll roll against your... A uh, five under 15. Okay, so you get plus five to your horsemanship. So my horsemanship will now be 20. Okay, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, would you like to do anything? Take this dude Sir, out. Uh, Sir, Uh... What is pulling your punches? What does it oh, do? Oh, sorry. What it means is when you roll your damage, 
if you if you tell me you're going to be pulling your punches, uh, you will roll fewer damage damage dice. Because I'm just saying, if you don't actually want to kill the guy, yeah. That's so I'm going to pull to my punches. This guy is not going okay. to try to kill him. No, no, no. Yeah. Hey, would you like to? Uh, um, would you like to become impassioned? Though? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, well, using which passion? Uh, using honor. Okay. Yeah. yeah. What is your honor? Fifteen. All right. Make your roll. And then I check it off, and I can't use it again in the session. Correct. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, Ten under fifteen. Okay, so, so you're success. also a plus five. Okay. So okay. I'm also a twenty. All right. That's good. So what you want to do now? It's just a roll off. It's a roll off, essentially. But remember, a twenty in this situation has become a crit. Yeah. Okay. So it is a roll off, and if you if you both get crits or the same number, uh, then I think in this situation because there's no tiebreaker because you're both at twenty, we just roll again. Okay. Okay. Ready? So All they. Right. Oh, we're charging? Oh, yeah. Let's go. Whoa, whoa. Uh, <laughs> uh, Good luck, Sir Turk. <laughs> <laughs> so hold, hold on. I rolled. I have, I have a question. Damn it, yeah. Joe. I have a Kantos, which is a different, type I think, of force? a different type of weapon. Like, what, what do you have? You should be using your lance. Yeah. Your lance? The Kantos is a two-handed lance um, <laughs> that... Is this just in, like, melee combat? It says gain a plus five bonus against anyone not armed with a Kantos, oh. including all other lances. No, uh, oh, well then, yeah, then you're 25. <laughs> How that works is that means you will crit on a 15 or higher. Oh, yeah, if you go over yeah. 20? Yeah. It, it, Okay. It could change the critical threshold. So, oh yeah, so this is like some sort of like, I guess an Eastern weapon or something. It's like a yeah, longer it's weapon. Yeah, a really longer one. Yeah. It's weird that they let you use that, not the standard one, but hey, we're here I, to have maybe, fun time. Maybe, no, maybe. No, no, we're, we're here to have a fun time. Maybe I'm just reading, reading it wrong. Use it, kill him. Use it. <laughs> okay, so what are we trying to roll here? Uh, you're trying to roll your best horsemanship. So okay. higher number? Uh, in yeah. this situation, yeah. yes, because yeah. okay. it's opposed. I rolled a 17. Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah, all right, here we but go. But a crit will beat whatever number. Do, 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 do. Four. Okay, uh, you, you lose the first wow. tilt. Yeah. Uh, oh, now, oh, now, shield uh, shatters. Can you, uh, I will ask you, uh, please to roll uh, your, your, roll your damage dice, which I believe is four six, or five D6. 66. Yep. 66. Oh, look, I just happen to have six beautiful golden D6s. From the Pendragoon status it. Uh, oh, boy. This is 7, 8, 9, 10, 13, 17, 18 points of damage. Okay, and what is your armor rating, Sir Asterius? It'll be in that same little box in the top left-hand corner. Under uh, Characteristics under other. You'll have armor points. Uh... <laughs> It's be a number it's something it's plus 10 plus 6. Okay, so the plus 6 is only we'll if you're mounted. Out. Sorry? But only when you're mounted. Yeah, so 16. 16. And you did how many? Uh, when I say 18. 18, so you take 2 points. So it's like a little bit of a bruise. Yeah. Uh, more importantly, though, you didn't uh, take tw uh, whatever your knockdown value is in excess. So you didn't get unhorsed. That's ah, big, okay. So Where's okay. the knockdown value? Just across from uh, I see. armor points. Oh, that is. It? All right, Very so that cool. was first, first strike <laughs> to Sir Avalok of the City Watch. <laughs> Amazing. All right. Second roll. Let's go. Second uh, this, roll. This time I might put a little English on it. Something you can't do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Natural 20. Oh, wow. oh, no. Boom. 14. This is great. This is back and forth. Yeah. Did you roll 14. It? Did you? That's not a crit for you, though? No. Uh, okay. No, it's oh, 14 he's at a 20. 20 yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you be rolling so crit. Do, 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 do you remember what I said? That sometimes it's a bit harder to pull your punches on a, yeah. on a crit? Yeah, yeah. So a crit will add four d6 to your roll so what did i pull where's uh, what, what you, what, damage what did you <laughs> what it's did you pull oh damage. part of me you told Sorry. me i pulled you're right so you you said you were pulling punches yeah okay no you still just roll just so you ignore the crit bonus then part of me you still you still crit but you're pulling your punches so you're not going to get the extra four d6 okay on top of whatever your lance damage was so it's not going to be nine d6 or whatever it is so roll your d6s well, what are the D6? So it's 66, but I pulled my is? punches. That, that, which means, you, yeah, you're okay. So just roll them, and I'll tell you what's going to happen. Okay. Add them up. You should Here we go. Uh, okay, so that's... That is 22. 22? What's your armor? 16. Well, okay. 10 plus 6. Okay, cool. So you, you, you take you take a bit of a hit. That's not too, It's not like double this thing, so it's okay. You took... Yeah, take a bit of a hit. It hurt. You really felt that one yeah. in, your, in your arm. <sighs> okay, but that does mean it's one-to-one. Uh, yeah, one to one. Okay, let's, on horse. this is the last one. 
Oh, oh. Last roll off. The, well, it's because first off. to three. First oh, to three. Come on. I know. A lucky hit there. Go on, Sir Avalok. You got this. When I am king, perhaps I will allow your kind into Londinium. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Everyone is welcome. <laughs> For the emperor. <laughs> He's a real jerk. And he... Oh, come on, dude. 18. 19. No! Boom! <laughs> Son of a bitch. Spears would be shattered. <laughs> <laughs> you are unhorsed. God! And you're dragged away. <laughs> and you're taken somewhere far more where they can educate you. Oh, of course, amazing. the good guy's got to win in this situation. Exactly. Yeah, right? Exactly. Oh, that is so lucky. <laughs> okay, so you're oh, I got to roll damage. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and this is... Oh, my gosh. Uh-oh. Uh, so it's... it's. Oh, okay. So it's 23 damage. Okay. Minus the 16. Uh, minus the 16, yeah. So it's 23 damage when the Kantos on the third thing... When he unhorses him and wins, shatters. And oh, it breaks. okay, yeah, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, the contest is you get all these advantages, but um, if the damage roll is odd, it breaks. Oh, really? Oh, if it's that's odd, cool. odd that's, odd that's cool. funny. Yeah, yeah. That's very cool. I like so, that. So, uh, yeah, so it's broken, and uh, he doesn't have another one, so he's going to have to use like a regular lance mm -hmm. now, basically. All right, so you 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 unhorsed, you move right now. You uh, you two who are waiting yeah. to go on next. Are we? Yeah, is there like a crowd that I can appeal to? There's the crowd. Yeah, the crowd. The crowd. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're there. Do I not have anyone's favor? And I'm actually <laughs> looking for Merlin. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. You fight dirty. <laughs> you see him. His, his beard is a little less gray. He looks like he's had a really good night's sleep. And he's standing right next to the Lady of the White Tower. Oh, no. But she's, she's just, 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 she doesn't seem to notice him. And he looks at you, and he's got his hands like this, and he gives you the most barely perceptible nod. Smallest little nod. And then he raises his hand, and behind, like, so, so the Lady of the White Tower is here, and he just points to the east. And if you follow his point, you can see the the the, 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 the pinnacles of St. Paul's Basilica. And when you look back, Merlin's gone. That's awesome. Very well. If no one else comes up. Let's go at it then, Sir of Rain. And just real quick, can I do uh, a roll to like see, to look for this... Those kids, the king and the kid and the kids. Yeah. Like the little kids. Yeah, you, you see them because I mean, you, you were aware that they're saying that stuff. Right? Yeah, and they were sitting just nearby, and now they see the honor duel's about to happen. They're like nodding each other. Like, it's time to go. We got to go now. Can I follow them? You may follow yeah. them. Would you like to inform anybody about this? You don't have to. You can just follow them if you like. No. Okay. You he feels them. like a you know stranger in a strange land. Like he okay. Know who to That's trust. cool. So you start following these these two like these two guys. Yeah. Like, going along. Now, same deal. Sir of Rain, <laughs> Sir Lin Dame Linnell. It's happening. I uh, want to impassion. With using which passion? Okay. Um, I'm going to use my hate of Picts because. <laughs> Sir of Rain. What do you call me? <laughs> <laughs> I think Sir of Rain, of Rain is a Pict, though. No, no. Oh. Sir of Rain has lain with many a pig. Oh, <laughs> she has the stain of sure. I've lain her. with many a many people. <laughs> sure. Exactly. Might right. as well be you one. You'll have to. All right, roll. So here you go. Yeah, that's under. Okay, under so 15. you're plus five to your horsemanship for this encounter. Would you like to become impassioned? Yeah. It's a pretty obvious one. I think my adoration for Lady yeah. Morgan yeah, yeah, yeah. the White Tower. Yeah, go for yeah. it. I'm rolling a d20. Yeah. I rolled a 13. What am I under? Uh, what did you? What is, what is your? What is your stat? A 10. Oh, you rolled over it. Yeah. <gasps> oh, okay. Your love? Oh, oh my God. You rolled over your love. Your um. Oh no. He's oh going, God! He's no. going to the book. book. I gotta. Uh -huh. I gotta check this. This right. has never happened <laughs> no in one's the ever history of, of Pendragon. Book. You're gonna. You oh, enter a passion a crisis. Failed love. Oh no. You literally, you're about. You're up there, and you're like, hell She's yeah! Watching. And you look over, and you nod, and literally, what happens is, you think. 
the hell am I doing? Do I really love her? <gasps> Is this really worth this? This 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 woman killed a man in the street for bumping into her yesterday. And didn't we have something once? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It must what have been. Yeah, yeah. Love. What are you doing? <laughs> so here's the thing. Mechanically, if you go through the, the duel, you're actually going to be at neg ten <gasps> to your rolls. Or you can, if you would like to role play, you can just you can concede because you're really having a bit of a crisis here. You're like, what am I doing? Wow. Oh yeah. my god. Oh my god. I, this is wild. <laughs> Dismount my horse. Take my helmet off. Oh my. Put it over my chest as I look over to Lady. I keep Lady. Uh, Dame uh, Linnell. Dame Linnell. And because he has very kind eyes, he has a tear running it's down very his attractive. cheek. <laughs> those are the and eyes says, that got me all those years ago. <laughs> <laughs> you said something to me last night. And it was. Why would I fight for this woman who maybe doesn't even know who I am? Aye. But you and I, we have something special. <laughs> <laughs> what a twist! <laughs> it's supposed to be a door to the, the crowd. The crowd is like, oh. <laughs> I didn't know we could do I, that! I suppose we <laughs> <laughs> I suppose you have we like could bags of ice on your wounds. And so, and you see, I, 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 I drop my lance to the ground. I will not fight you. Oh. I suppose we could put our differences behind us. The helmet oh. comes off. Long flowing blonde hair cascades. I run in slow motion towards her. <laughs> and I go to meet him. And I, I'm going to swoop Sir of Rain into my arm. Okay, yes, and my leg kicks up. Like a sailor in Times Square. <laughs> yeah. Leg kicks up. And, uh, you know, place a passionate kiss for the crowd. Yeah. Woo! Roll the kiss. Five minutes, there... five minutes earlier, <laughs> you followed those kids yeah. to oh the God. Basilica because everyone's out watching. Watching, watching five the, uh, minutes early. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yes. Everyone is so the basilica is not busy like it was yesterday. Everybody's going to watch this honor duel and all this other stuff. And these kids are here with King Lot, and he's got like like ropes and pulleys and pickaxes, and he is actively trying to remove the entire stone oh my from the front and he sees the kids come up and says alright you two get to it get those picks we gotta get this out of here right now we gotta go we gotta go that's cheating <laughs> and he looks over he sees you sir. Hey, excuse me your grace what is going on here we're taking this sword By it's who? not what God wants and uh, whose authority my authority is king you are not king of this land I will be but you are not yet. You have no right to remove this. I will remove it now. They work for me. I pay them in gold. And that is how the world works. Money. Gold. They're working for me. That sword will be mine. You heard what they said. You heard what the old druid said. Telling everybody. That's the sword of Uther Pendragon. And Uther Pendragon is the next high king. And that'll be mine. With respect, uh, my liege, there's, or um, your grace, this is not, um, this is not something that I can allow you to do. He, he, walk, he walks up really close to you, like Kill really him. close. Yes. And he looks Blood you up shed. and down and he says, what are you going to do about it? <laughs> and he stands there and he's like, Thinking, I mean, this guy outranks him. You know what I mean? And yeah. it's, it's, that's very, very important to him. Um, and this is a foreign land. Why does he care of their customs? But this is the sort of Othar Pendragon, a great king who was known, you know, the world over, as far as he, uh, he knows. Um, and he feels like he has to defend that honor. So he's going to say, "I will not let you take it. If by my life I must stop it, then I will." He draws his sword. He points it at your chest, and he says, "Then have at thee, coward!" Can I just interject here? You may. Because I have a great idea. So imagine that uh, Sir Avalok is just like kind of limping back. <laughs> and he sees this go down, and he's like, "What? What's going on over here? None of that now." So he's standing there, 
uh, has not drawn his sword yet, and there's a point of a sword in his mail, and he's just standing there staring at this guy, and then you come up. What's the problem here? We're taking the sword. Is there a problem with that? Uh, I see a couple problems here. One, that sword doesn't belong to you. <laughs> Two, <laughs> this man just bested me in the joust. And you owe him respect. You owe me respect. I'm your king. That's my sword. And the kids are like hacking at it. They're, 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 they're like, the rock's pretty loose. Stop like, that now. I say, oh, well, we work for him and he's much bigger than us. Oh, sorry. Don't you stop pickaxing. And people are starting to notice this is happening. And the talking and the, and the, and the commotion of this. Like, the, the king lot has drawn his sword. This is, this is a big deal. And that flutters, the information flutters down. Just like how when Dame Linnell killed that guy yesterday. It comes all the way down. And you can hear this in the... In, in the, in the tilt and the people start leaving the crowd as you're kissing <laughs> and you look up and you hear people say someone someone's got the sword someone's drawn the sword we have a new king sir avalok draws his sword i mean it's a bit of a telephone game situation right, not right. exactly what's happened but, but you know yeah, that yeah, sounds we, exciting yeah, we should go see yep <laughs> <laughs> yeah sir avalok's right, gonna draw his sword yeah last time i checked this isn't the north stand down sir i will have your head for that cretin and he turns and he swings his sword at you. <laughs> well, now I will draw my sword. Okay. Well, he's swinging his sword at you. Yep. You need to make a uh, sword roll. I think it's a, whatever the, your attack roll is. Okay. Uh, I'll tell everybody at home, uh, King Lot has a sword skill of 22, which means okay. he crits on an 18. Yeah. I mean, I like this. Uh, seven. 13 under 14. Ooh. Okay, so you win yeah. the first thing. Please roll, roll your damage. He has 10 points of armor. Um, so my sword damage is uh, arming sword, 4d6. Oh, how about two sixes, a five, and a two? Nice. Oh, 12, 17, really? 19 points of wow. damage. Wow. 19 most tense. That's like, uh, so he's got 10, so nine points of damage off his 12 hit points. Ooh. So you saw, like, you saw your dance, you swing wow. around, you pirouette, and you slice, and you cut him deep on his side. Stand down, sir. I will not stand down. That is my sword. And the, and the rock is loose now. And there's a cart that's been brought up. And these two little kids are trying to push the rock. He says, don't you stop doing that. I'll have your head for starting this too. And he swings at you. Uh, can I like parry or anything? Is there anything like that? You, you, you're just both rolling the attack. Oh, it's an opposed, it's uh, opposed roll. sword roll. Yeah, yeah, okay. exactly. Great. He's got a 22. Uh, 18. Uh, 12. Which is a career attack. Can I borrow all of your D6s, please? <laughs> so this is amazing. Oh, and then I have, a, I have a question. You know, since we're coming from the joust, like, locked in arms, I assume, could we come running? I rolled a 10. Oh. All right, and I have 10 armor. Yeah, so oh, okay, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you rolled really bad. I rolled like four ones. Okay. Could Sorry. we possibly come running in with our lance out yeah. and okay. charge together? Yeah. Like we are now the horse. And we are, we oh, are the horse. Yeah, sure. Charging in. So you're with charging lance. in too, and he turns around. So yeah, he hits you, and then he turns around. And he sees the two star cross lovers. Star cross yeah. lovers. These yeah. two. Yeah, they, they were a thing. And now they're another thing. Again. So happy okay. to get. Uh, uh, <laughs> and uh, all right, so roll. Um, just one of you roll, I suppose. Charge. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The, the Is charge. Is it still impassioned? Sure. It, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's... Uh, he rolled a three. What'd you roll? Seven. Okay, you beat him. Roll your roll your damage. Nice. Nice. <laughs> I need a d6. Yeah? Oh, there he is. No, I mean, the I kids have are pushing it. They're like they're pulling it. Oh, they're trying to get the rock oh, into the cart because oh, they don't want to get this? beat. Punch the kids. 15. <laughs> 15. 15. Oh, 15. Okay, so that's the other five. So you don't... And the lance goes right through his throat. <gasps> oh. And he stopped... <clears throat> I have a reputation. <laughs> the kids are freaking, the kids haven't noticed this. The kid, they, they're just like, just, just get it, just get it on the cart. Now get the, the children. Cart. And one of the urchins grabs the sword and draws it. <gasps> oh. oh no, urchin. What? And it glows. And the other kid says, Arthur, what the hell did you just do? <laughs> oh and that my is God. Pendragon. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Amazing. All right. the, good, the great news is when you buy your copy of Pendragon, it comes with the the uh, the camp the sword campaign. There will be no spoilers <laughs> because <laughs> that went uh, that went off the road. Did everyone have a good time? Oh, oh yes. I had a fantastic time. Yes. The story yeah, the had everything. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah, I I, I would love to play a campaign of this game. Like <laughs> I just I want to design my own sigil. I want to have my own house. You do that. This is this is fantastic. Yeah, Brian, thank you so yeah. much. Thank Great you, job. Brian. Great oh, job. Thank you so much. Yes. Thanks for having me. I really appreciate it. I always have a fun time playing with you guys. I'll see you in a couple of hours. Yeah. 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 A couple yeah. hours yeah. sure I take it home. What's your booth number again? The five five zero nine here at Gen Con if you're watching this on the TV like that guy is 
509. I'm talking to you. I don't know what the delay is. It's fine. 509. Make sure you check it out if you are here at Gen Con. Otherwise, go to chaosium.com. We love them. It's obvious at this point, but they just keep putting out these amazing games. Check them out. Buy these games. Support these uh, game creators and developers. Uh, we are here at Booth 174 all day long. Coming up next is Alien RPG, sponsored by our good friends at Demiplane. They're going to be using the character creation software. I've only seen the Pathfinder software where I can't wait to see how this looks. Stay tuned. We'll be right back in 15 minutes.